Alrighty, let's get ready to go. And, like the... I think like the last time, I forgot to put up a social media reminder about this stream, but you know what? Whatever. We're just going straight into it. It doesn't matter. It's all just about playing the game and hanging out with some great people. That's all that matters in the end. Hanging out with you fine people and having a good time. Just chilling out. Think of this as like you're coming over to the wolf you layer to play some games. Just, uh, it happens to be a single player game. You don't get to play yourself, you just get to watch me. That's always like the worst kind of sleepover when <laughs> you go to your friend's house and he's got this cool video game. And uh, you're like, can I have a turn? And he just never lets you play it. Um, that always sucks. Or if it's like, uh, you know, you're playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the Genesis. And, you know, you're the little brother and your brother's just like, all right, you can play his Tails. Here you go. Here, there's the other controller. You can just play his Tails. Uh, I guess it's kind of like that, but I like to think more fun. Now, let's begin. <laughs> Greetings, I'm your host, Dr. Wolfiela, and welcome to Doc's Game Room, where I live scream games for your dangertainment. Now, tonight I will be continuing my Let's Play live stream series of Batman Arkham Knight. And uh, in the last part, Harley Quinn essentially raided Batman's secret base at the movie studio. How did she find out about Batman's secret base? I guess we'll find out. So now I have to rescue Robin, who's being held captive at the movie studio, and also rescue all of the infected Joker prisoners Batman's been, like, holding against their will because they might end up, uh, you know, leading to a, a new wave of Joker-like criminals you know, infecting Gotham, so that's not good either. Now, before I begin the game stream proper, I just want to let you guys know I have a weekly movie night stream every Sunday with my Patreon supporters and channel members, so if you want to support the channel and get uh, some bonus streams, consider it. Patreon.com slash Dr. Wolfula. Tomorrow's stream will be a double feature of Slumber Party Massacre 2 and 3. And also, just as a little preview of the upcoming vids, uh, on this channel, I finally got around to finishing the Halloween Old Myers Place audiobook series, so you can listen to all that early. It'll be up here for free on YouTube later in a complete fashion, but if you want to listen to it early before my review of the, uh, book goes live, and that's gonna be a very fun review, if you appreciated the previous review of the Scream Factory book, you know, you know, you, know, you can get a little preview of it early if you... You know, just follow the link in the description. Now, let's begin the third episode of my Batman Arkham Knight Let's Play. Let's get underway. Greetings once again to all you folks. Now, let's, uh... Wait, hopefully... Did I remember to... T okay, let me check if I turned on subtitles. Yeah, okay, they are on. I don't know why they weren't showing up, though. Maybe Joker just doesn't have subtitles. Does he? Joker, say something. Say something for me, pal. He's just, like, brooding. He's, like, just hanging out. He's just like, I, I don't... Okay, yeah, there are subtitles. Good. Okay, good. Sometimes I'll be, like, chatting over uh, motherfuckers, and maybe you guys want to know what they're saying. All right. And I got the Rocksteady skin on the Batmobile. And I guess I should have mentioned this before, though. I should have showed this off right away. I'm currently wearing the new Battenson skin, the new The Batman skin, featuring Robert Pattinson's likeness. I have mixed feelings about the suit itself. I mostly am not so into the cowl, but uh, I feel like Rocksteady didn't put a lot of effort into uh, this skin. But I can understand. They're currently making a really shitty looking Suicide Squad game. They're, you know, they're a little, uh, they're, their hands are tied. They can only do so much, I suppose. <laughs> But uh, I might as well just show myself off kicking some ass, dressed up as Robert Pattinson himself. The detective version of Batman. And something I've noticed, a recent trend with Batman actors is they all, they get like a, they get like a bat-themed, oh man, that guy tried to get me. <laughs> yeah, good luck, pal. They tend to get like a bat-themed nickname, because like Ben Affleck got Batfleck, Pattinson gets Battinson. I'm kind of wondering if that will continue because we don't have, like, nicknames for, like, Michael Keaton or Val Kilmer, I don't think, or George Clooney. None of them ever really got, like, bat-themed nicknames. I guess maybe because they just 
their names don't apply to nicknames very well, I guess. That might be the issue there. All right. Enough fucking around, though. Let's get on with the story. Nicole has a super chat. Thank you, Nicole. You my fave, Doc. Thanks, Nicole. You're my fave as well. All right, it's time to break up this party. Well, I should probably think a little bit more strategically. A little more, uh, a little more smart. I always forget I'm not playing one of the better Arkham games. Like, that. that's how the uh, <laughs> gadget menu works in this one. It's like a fucking radial menu now. All right. Which I guess after I get into this fight, I'll complain about how the menus are handled and the UI in general is handled in this game compared to the uh, previous games. It somewhat annoys me. Oh, so much for you stabbing me. That didn't end up happening. Hey guys, uh, your guns are glowing green, which means they can't work anymore. All right, I need to grab that bat. There we go. All right, I'm Batman and I'm using a bat. Oh, wait, okay, I took everybody out, okay. Usually there's, like, a really cool animation once you take the last guy out. Not that time, though. Joseph D... Joseph D just says, keep bat? Kill bat? Nah. Yeah, I, I guess it's just... I guess it's just kind of like if there's a D... Because bat flick isn't really even a pun, I, you know. I guess you could say bat affleck. I guess just because there's the a ah in affleck, I guess that's why that happened. Um... You don't really see that with, like, Spider-Man to differenti differentiate them, like, Tobey Maguire. I guess you could call him Spidey Maguire or something. Um, I guess sometimes they'll call him Bully Maguire because of his symbiote evil version in Spider-Man 3. But, you know, I don't really hear any nicknames for Tom Holland Spider-Man or Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. I guess you could call Andrew Garfield Spider-Man the Spider-Man that hates Mondays. I guess maybe that's an option. All right, time to get into my lair. Open. Voice print failure. Access denied. <laughs> nice Ooh, I got 69 viewers. Hell yeah. Harley Sweet. Changed the voice code access. I can adapt the modulator I picked up from the Arkham Knight's driver to synthesize her voice. All right. The God of the Comic asks, are you playing on PlayStation 5? Uh, thankfully I'm not. I'm playing it on my PC. Not that any there's anything wrong against my, uh... Not that there's anything wrong with my PS5. It's just... The PS5 does not have a current-gen upgrade for this game. So, you know, you can't really play it at the, uh, max fidelity you can on PC with the, uh same level uh, with like the because like i can play this at 90 fps too like on ps5 it's still 30 fps and it's still 720p upscaled i think not great so this is a bit of an issue of a puzzle i have to listen very carefully to try to match up harley quinn's voice so gotta try to not talk so much <laughs> okay Okay, that sounds kind of close. Let's see. All right, a little... This one's honestly a little iffy just because there's also that added, like, mechanical filter over her voice that kind of distorts it a little bit. It's like in this sweet zone. Okay. Okay, that slows it down. All right, let's try this. Come on. 69. Well, at least it's 69. All right, let's try that. Ah, okay, even less of a match. All right, let's try this. If I get stuck on this any longer, I'm going to be so pissed off. Okay, 71. I hate this shit. <laughs> God. All right, let's... Oh, wait, that sounds pretty good. This has got to be it, right? Yes, thank God. Okay, all right. Voice calibration complete. Hell yeah, now I can imitate Harley Quinn's voice. The voice well, not the real Harley voice Quinn voice. It doesn't sound like Arlene Sorkin, but, you know, whatever. But yeah, I guess I want to complain about the UI in this game. For whatever reason, they decided the D-pad 
should like have a dedicated button for selecting quests instead of just making it something in the like in the in, in the menu like in this menu like it was in arkham city and Ar arkham origins and for some reason they thought okay another dedicated button for these challenges on the d-pad and then like okay all your gadgets are just this bottom button on the d-pad that sucks and then like they map detective mode to the up up on the up button on the d-pad like, i hate that shit like just feels so arbitrary and like i don't know not a big fan of it oh thank you for the super chat xavier to god there's bully mcguire hipster peter and iron boy jr oh yeah i guess those are very derisive nicknames though um you know, I guess that's an issue I have with the Tom Holland, Peter Parker. He's a little too... A little too reliant on Iron Man. Um, but I guess that was, like, just a mandate by Sony. They're like, they need... Spider-Man needs to be the sidekick of, like, a less famous superhero. But a superhero who's, like, in universe older than him. <laughs> like... And I prefer Spider-Man. He's just kind of a schmuck that's just on his own. I can use like, he's kind of like... I always imagine Spider-Man in-universe is... He's, like, not even on the Avengers' mind. Like, he's just so... He's just, like, just so small-scale. Like, his villains are, like, guys dressed in, like, Halloween costumes and shit. It's, like, nothing that's, like, really... Nothing that's really all that big of a threat in the grand scale of things. Like, I just always imagine Spider-Man, he's kind of... Just, you know, a street-level guy who maybe will occasionally get involved with, like, a... Cosmic-level threat, just because he's there. But he's always, like, out of his depth in those situations. Braydog asks, Hey, Doc, when is there gonna be a face reveal? Um... I'm pretty sure this is my face. I mean, I could steal somebody else's face, and I could show that to you. I guess I could show my face collection. I do have a, an extensive face collection, admittedly. Um, but I don't know if that's necessarily what you mean. All right, let's take this guy out with the mohawk. Sweet. All right. All right, let's see here. Oh, wait, let me... Uh, Get a better view of you guys. All right, there we go. Okay, good. Um, CEO say ask Doc, who's your favorite DC superhero? Is it Batman? Yeah, yeah, Batman's probably gonna end up being my favorite. I do have a soft spot for Superman. Do really uh, like me a good Superman story. He's a character that like you know is easily misunderstood, but do like me some Superman. I also just like his whole. His whole world, the whole Kryptonian mythos and everything is super cool. I feel like it's never been really all that well... All that well explored in the movies, but, uh, yeah. Like me some Superman. Oh, I guess more... I guess a more, I don't know, slightly more obscure DC hero. Well, I guess he's not originally a DC hero, but I really love me the question. At least the early, like, the, the Silver Age version of the question when he was a lot more paranoid and weird and, like, fucking libertarian and shit. Like, the version of the question that they did with, uh, that they did on uh, Justice League Unlimited. Really like that version of the question. But he's originally a Charleston Comics character, but DC just bought the rights to all the Charleston Comics characters. Question's really cool. But then they made him more like a fucking Buddhist hippie character in the 80s when Denny O'Neill started writing for him. Not as appealing. And now he's like... Renee... I guess in some things he's Renee Montoya. But... Well, I guess he's not. He's like in some things... I guess... I don't know if Renee Montoya is still the question. She was the question for a while, but I don't know if she's still anymore. I don't know if he's brought, been brought back to life. Like, the fucking DC Universe continuity, it's su super confusing in recent years because they reboot it much more frequently now. It used to be like, okay, maybe we'll reboot the continuity every 20, 30 years just to appeal to, like, the new generation. Now it's just like, let's reboot it every five years. <laughs> Who fucking cares at this point? Whatever. <laughs> 
try to keep track of it. Like, Batman's continuity is never, like, really seriously shifted, too. It's just, like, it just gets condensed where it's, like... Yeah, Batman has had three Robins in the span of five years, I guess, or something. It's just... Ugh. Not great. I don't know. Not a big fan of that kind of shit. All right. So those guys have guys looking at them. I need to kind of... Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot. I have, like, a new toy. I always forget about the new toys they give you. So, okay. I can tell that guy to go check out... Uh, yeah, let's keep it simple. Check out what's... Well, I could send him over to a great. That would be great. Alright, so I send him over to do a great, and then I can sneak up on him. Alright. Makes it so much more easy. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Dante Reyes says, who the question is depends on who's writing them in. It's a headache. Okay. <laughs> I remember, like, I don't know, when the DC... Okay, when the New 52 was introduced, they relaunched the question as being, like, a god that just didn't have a face or something. Like, just made him, like, a totally different thing. And it's just like, this is not... I have no interest in this. Um... <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know. I wish they would go... I wish... I guess maybe they don't want him to be Rorschach. Like, they want to, like, separate question, because... Rorschach was bas basically the question, just much more gritty. And I guess maybe they don't want him to be that kind of character anymore. I don't know. They're like, we got a Ro Rorschach. We don't want to confuse people or whatever. I don't know. Okay, well, let's try a diff... Well, check that out. I just need you guys to get separated. Bare minimum. Alright, okay. That guy's got a decent amount of space behind him. There we go. Whoa, we're like levitating in the air. Damn. Cool. Xavier to God has a super chat. Thank you, Xavier. Uh, Doc, Batman 89 or Superman 78? I mean, this might be controversial, but I would... I do love Batman 89, but I... I, I have in more recent years love Superman 78 so much more just because I don't know just feels like it really treats Superman on just this really cool mythic level where it just goes through his whole origin story sets up the whole world and everything I don't know it's just it's just so well done it's also like just the first superhero movie where they tried to like treat it like a real movie Treated on, like, a totally serious level and everything. All right. Okay, let's take out the uh, last couple guys. And I guess I could take out the big... The big chain gun... The big chain gun guy. But at the same time, I don't want to risk fucking it up. And then having to clear this room all over again. Thank you for the super chat, Joseph D. Doc, a new 52 question is Caligula. Seriously, LOL. So he's like a guy who does a lot of orgies and stuff? I'm not sure what you mean by that. <laughs> or he is just the literal Caligula, like, just reincarnated or something? All right, I gotta get out of here quick. Luckily, they did not see. All right. But speaking of Caligula... Tonight, I've been re-watching uh, Eyes Wide Shut, and I do recommend that movie. I think it's become my favorite Kubrick movie. It kind of feels like The Shining, but... I don't know, it has more of just that real-world weirdness to it that just is really intriguing, where it's just like all this weird shit that just happens outside uh, your outside a person's typical awareness. Like, it's... What what the fuck is going on? I guess you don't want to do this on a stair stairway, because... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna cancel that, because <laughs> that stairway really ruined the whole thing. Um, I'm just gonna take out the other guy, and then I'll wait for that guy to get off the stair. They weren't accounting for staircases, <laughs> it feels like. Um, 
just was not quite working. And I want to avoid also being seen by those turrets. Oh, shit. All right. Um. Okay, I can at least hack one of those. All right. Uh. Come on. Come on, man. No, get up there. All right, sweet. Okay. All right. Now let's take out the last guy finally hopefully he's not on a fucking staircase this time okay it's hard to tell where i can get to him all right let's see well there you are oh, shit he's near those damn turrets go oh. all right okay he's on a staircase um damn it Oh, and he's near the turrets, too. Not a great spot. Uh, not a great spot. Okay. Greetings, Honest Dave. Let's see. They just had to put two... I guess I could... Oh, I, I, all, I actually forgot I can destroy those turrets. But I just have to sneak up on them. But I can't quite do it right now. And there's a guy with a chain gun right over there. I did think it was really cool when I'd see, like, versions of Bane where he had a giant chain gun. You don't really see him with a chain gun and anything else, but I, I just remember in, like, one of the comics, he had, like, a giant chain gun. Alright. I don't know, maybe we'll see another... Maybe in the James Gunn universe, we'll see another Bane, and you'll have, like, a chain gun, and it'll be cool. Come on, just... Come on. Just, just go a little further. Just, just look behind. He's just standing there. God. <laughs> the ironic thing is that if some of these guys just stood up against a wall, they'd be fine. Okay. Well, I guess, all right. That's the thugs dealt with. That's the thugs dealt with. Okay. That took a little longer than it should. All right. Let's get. Oh, shit. No, no. No! 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 Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, that was not good. I forgot there were two of them. I gotta deactivate one of them. That's how you do it. Forgot about that shit. Damn it! Okay. Probably should have uh, refamiliarized myself with all this shit first, but whatever. Honest Dave says, finally watch Scream 6. Don't know how to feel about it. I mean, it's better than Part 3, but worse than Part 5. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> Maybe I need to rewatch it. I don't know. Maybe I... I might have been watching it under really bad circumstances, because I caught a 3D version of the movie, but they didn't really present it in 3D. It was, like, weird, because they gave us the glasses, and it was all blurry... But there was no 3D effect. And I've been to that theater's 3D showings before, and it would give me actual 3D. Like, I can see... I, I go to see... Anytime I can see, like, a 3D type of movie, I'll go see it, and it's fine. But that movie, they just did something fucked up with the projection, where it just looked like shit. Like, I just... <laughs> Feeling nostalgic right now. Have you? Oh, come on. You think you're different because you never killed anyone? Man, this is a long elevator ride. You kill me. I was there, remember? You destroyed my cure right in front of me. <laughs> Watch me choke. Horror Chainsaw asks, Hey Doc, can you talk the, the Crow remake when it comes out? I, I don't know. They've been talking about a Crow remake for such a long time. I... Have they actually... Is there, like, an actual trailer now? Are they shooting it right now? I, I don't know. We both know the truth. Yes, you've killed before. But tonight... I'm a little skeptical of anything that's been in, like, development hell for so long. All right. Here we go. 
Oh yeah, aerial attack time. Like Ariel and the Little Mermaid. Right in the dick. How does that feel? Okay. I keep forgetting. I... There we go. You took your time. You got overwhelmed. Give me that damn fire extinguisher, bitch. Eat smoke, asshole. All right. Okay, well, I guess the aerial attack was not necessary there. All right, time for a two-for-one combo. Now I get to play as Robin. The only time in the actual campaign where you can play as the other characters is just during these, like, group... These group, uh, rooms where you can uh, attack guys together with Batman, but that's it. I wish you could free roam as these characters, but nope. It was decided... Nope, only Batman can explore Gotham. All of his sidekicks, all they can do is just watch by the sidelines and help out. That's it. A little disappointing, but whatever. I need to start using some more gadgets. What? Aerial attack. I need to start using the Disarm and Destroy. I gotta vary my combos a bit more. Then again, oh wait, I don't have the Disarm and Destroy yet, though. Oh well. Alright, let's take this guy on together, Robin. Hell yeah! Oh shit, Robin. Busting my balls, Robin. This one. Oh wait. There we go. Oh, thank you for the super chat, my video maker. Do you know that Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed will be 20 years old this year? Yeah, I guess I guess I do know that now that you've reminded me. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, uh, I remember seeing it in theaters. Um, saw both Scooby-Doo 1 and 2 in, in theaters when they came out. It's fucked up to think that was all... It was all, it's all gonna be over 20 years ago now. It's, uh, it's upsetting, you know? It's, it's not fun to think about. Thank you for the super chat, Xavier. Uh, Doc, Spider-Man 2 or The Dark Knight? Um, I don't know. I, I feel like, you know, The Dark Knight is a better movie. But at the same time, I feel like it didn't. If they're still here, get to me software will find them. as much as uh, Spider-Man 2. Like, it just didn't Albert King's in the have as much meaning Looks to like me. Um, I feel like Batman Begins had more meaning to me than Dark Knight, even though Dark Knight, I think, is better than Batman Begins. Charisma but, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, He's got plans. it's hard to say, because ultimately I do think, you know, Dark Knight, you know, is... Maybe the pinnacle of a superhero movie, but, uh, there's movies that just, they're just more fun kind of superhero movies for me, you know? Kind of surpass it in, uh, just the, uh, more fun department, but, uh, you know, it's just hard to say. All right, now let's upgrade my guy. Let's see, aerial juggle. Yeah, I don't know, that sounds stupid. Um, I guess I can save some points for later. I guess when I when I start dying and shit, that's gonna be uh, when I need to like maybe okay maybe upgrade my armor, but it seems like I'm doing okay. I'm gonna definitely want to save points for the Batmobile. That's honestly where any real challenge comes into play in this fucking game. It's ironic, like I, you feel the weakest when you're in that fucking Batmobile. Ugh. Henry, lock down this door. Only let Robin or my Nerdy Sabbath asks, who else has been watching the Mystery Science Theater 3000 Forever-thon live stream? I've been catching it myself just because... I guess, I don't know, I'm more used to using when I watch the show. I'm more used to using the Pluto TV app, I guess. But having YouTube as an option now definitely makes it more available of a show and hopefully helps it reach a new audience. I think that's part of the strategy for Mystery Science Theater why they're doing this stream like 
like it's just easier for people to watch now and easier to get new fans because you know i contributed to their to their it wasn't really a kickstarter they used a different fucking website but i contributed to their like you know their crowdfunding campaign for uh, season 14 of mystery science theater but it ended up not being successful but part of that was just the fact that they <laughs> did the crowdfunding campaign in the middle of the fucking writers and actors strike so they couldn't have anybody promoting it but it's still impressive that they were able to get like a few million dollars of their goal just for, just for like just with like no promotion like that's pretty impressive but yeah that, Definitely seems like they want to make sure they have a lot more people into the show for their uh, next campaign. And you know, I I enjoyed the 13th season of Mystery Science Theater, but admittedly, you know the the virtual the virtual sets they were using. Not as cool as, you know, the physical sets. I can understand why they did that, but, uh, you know. Hopefully, if they make another season, eventually they can, uh, build the, uh, physical sets again. Because I did think... I'm like, you know, still getting through the, uh, 13th season, but I do think it's a really funny season faster if we were just you know held back by uh you'll know when production uh difficulties all right there we go where were you earlier robin i really could have used your help for this guy you sure took your time back at least he's not a on a fucking staircase this time did i pass you need practice come on King of the Fat asks, Hey, Doc, can you see my chats? I can't for some reason. That's so weird. I don't know what's going on. But, like, let me see. Let me get... Okay, let me pause real quick. You may, might have done a super chat that I missed. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, no. Okay, no. Okay, I thought that was what you were meaning. But, yeah, I could see your chats. I could see your comments. I could see all of your comments. All of you are seen to me. Xavier to God says, the hell is wrong with you if you find Batman Begins boring? I, I feel like Batman Begins suffers from, you know, the origin story flaw of... Like, the same thing with Spider-Man 2002, where it's just half the movie is an origin story, and then the other half is fighting the first villain. So it, it's one of those things where kind of wish it could just be two separate movies that kind of fully explore that that's or you know you could just have like one movie where this is all batman's origin but admittedly no one would watch that like before he even puts on like like where it's just like he fights maybe a mobster at the end or something like you know that maybe wouldn't be appealing to people but it just ends up weakening the second half where, okay, now he's actually fighting the villain. Same thing with the Spider- Spider-Man 2002 where it's just like two separate stories that are kind of sort of linked together. Batman Begins links the two stories together a little better, but, you know, it's still one of those things where... So in these, uh, in this special room, and I think this is the only room of its kind, you can tell Robin to take guys out for you. And then you switch to him. Interesting concept. N never happens again in the game, I don't think. I can't remember. This feels like it is basically a single-player version of the multiplayer mode in Arkham Origins. But uh, at the very least, with this version, I at least played this version of the concept. It would be cool. Like, I don't know. This is what I kind of imagined a Batman Robin game would sort of be like. Maybe a little more options for you but uh at least they were it felt like maybe they're like this is gonna be our last batman game so let's try to do the um 
let's try to do some of the things we didn't get to do in the previous games, like having Batman and Robin team up together and shit. Because, yeah, that definitely didn't uh, ever get to happen before. Like, Robin just shows up in a little cameo appearance in Arkham City. And you get to play as him in the DLC, but that's basically it. Man, they are, like, just grouped together. Okay, what gadgets does Robin have? Yeah, none of... I guess Zip Kick could come in handy. Let's try that. Well, not not right now. Uh, probably not the best time to do it. Um, Yeah. All right. Well, okay. Oh wait, no. Okay, don't do that. I, I, that guy, like, I hate it when like the henchmen just arbitrarily change their mind about what direction they want to go in. It's my biggest enemy in this game. Yeah. Go to sleep, little angel. Go to sleep. Oh man. And this Robin suit. Get a, some crazy shots of his ass. That's the crazy thing is, like, thank God for those capes, because I had to, like, see someone's screenshot of Batgirl's ass in the Batgirl DLC for this game. I didn't realize how caked up she was until I saw that screenshot, because you never, you usually don't see their asses because they have the capes covering their asses, but man, damn, they put a lot of attention to that ass that you never normally get to see. That's something else, you know? It's Gotham City's ass right there. All right. Okay, yeah, these guys. Yeah, I should probably. Okay, that guy. All right, I'm gonna switch to Batman in style. And then I need to get these guys separated. I didn't really mention it, but uh, in the last part, they established that Batman has been holding uh, some civilians who've been infected with the, the Joker's blood, and the Joker's blood somehow, because I guess it's been tainted by the Titan formula, it can cause you to become the Joker. I don't know how that works. Like, it doesn't. It never made any sense to me feels a little too stupid and sci-fi but or like magical or whatever like i don't really what to you? i just i don't get it but um yeah so that's a thing so i'm currently needing to take down one of the prisoners who is a chick so we get like a gender bent joker jokeress J lady joker or whatever yeah not not bad i mean Got some bad skin, but you know, I, I you know, <laughs> all right. Dante Reyes says, Bless that Batgirl DSA DLC for Batgirl and Classic Harley. I thought, I don't know, I didn't get the DLC until later, so I thought the classic Harley skin was introduced for the, uh, Batgirl DLC, but no, no, it, it's just something, um, it, it was part of the Harley Quinn pack, but it was cool that they integrated that into the story where it's a prequel, so she wears her classic costume, so you get to see that in the story, and, um, <laughs> she's really caked up in that, like, it's crazy. Everybody's got a fantastic ass in Gotham. It's hard, sort of hard to tell with this guy because he's like wearing some kind of cargo pants, but they're still kind of tight on him. I don't know. Who knows? All right, time for the cavalry to arrive. Way cool dude says, yeah, I agree. The Joker blood crap doesn't make sense. I feel like they really wanted to hold on. Well, they wanted to hold on to the Titan aspect of the storyline like here's a new evolution of titan and then they also wanted to keep joker around but i don't know they could have it i it, you didn't need the joker formula making him turn into the joker you could have just had him like get some like new version of the scarecrow's fear toxin that's stronger so it turns it's turning him into the thing he fears the most 
the Joker let loose on Gotham, that kind of thing. And that's how you could have brought Joker back. You didn't need this, like, bullshit about, like, the Titan formula turning Batman and the Joker and shit. Like, I don't know. You know, it's just... It just wasn't for me. All right, let's see if I can uh, sneak up on these fools. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There we go. You motherfucker. You just had to turn around. I hate it when you arbitrarily turn around like that. Damn it. It's like, actually, I want to go back down this, uh... I want to go back down this, uh, ladder. See what I got as a super chat doc. Blade 98, X-Men 2000, or Spider-Man 2002? I gotta go with, I don't know, Spider-Man 2002, just because it's the one I rewatch. Like, I rewatch Spider-Man, the Spider-Man movies, very frequently. I... I feel like I've maybe only seen X-Men and Blade movies a couple times each, and those were a long time ago, closer to when they were released. But I'm sure you could argue that they're better. They're far better than Spider-Man, but whatever. <laughs> Michael Diaz says, uh, Doc, in my opinion, I think Mask of the Phantasm is the best Batman movie. Oh, well, yeah, that's easy to say, you know. Because it's a movie, it's the first movie by the creators of Batman the Animated Series in their prime when they were still making the show. They're still in the middle of it. So, it, that's just the best portrayal of Batman outside the comics. So, it's safe to say Phantasm is the best movie. Yeah, that's definitely, out of all the movies, definitely my favorite. All right, let's do a dual take. I forgot you could do dual takedowns on the. Are you going back up the ladder, dude? Oh my god! No, don't do that. No. Oh my. Okay, there's like they're all, they're like huh? There's something about this ledge I want to go to. They're like fucking spooking me. Okay, I gotta switch to. I gotta switch to Batman. Not in a cool takedown sort of way though, unfortunately. All right, let's uh, tell this guy to go a little I could be setting up like awesome takedowns but I'm not why did I send him there that's like not a good spot Ugh. I don't think I can do a takedown on him from I can't even get there easily ah shit I'm just like shooting myself in the foot right now need to get my head in the game Okay, okay, here we go. You guys are nice and isolated now. All right, sweet. Totally forgot about the dual takedown. I should have did that earlier. They established it and everything, and of course I forgot. Oh, shit. Well, okay, I mean, I got two guys, so it should be fine. I don't even think I need. Yeah, I don't need to press the buttons at all. It's just totally automated. That's all of them. Time all right. Nicola asks Doc, "Have you heard about the Mia Go the Mia Goth lawsuit?" I have not. I barely heard of Mia Goth besides uh, Pearl and X. <laughs> I couldn't uh, tell you anything about any lawsuit she's got her filthy mitts in or <laughs> what's what's up with your fucking cape dude what's going on with your cape no no let, do that again i want to see what, what your cape does it it's like it was like at a weird angle dude yeah what these cape physics they they made sure batman's cape physics were perfect but when you get to robin it's just like whatever All right, gotta be ready to go. Oh, my. Nope. I don't think so, bitch. What she got against me? I'm practically your prisoner too. Let's get her back in the cell. Uh, of course, you get to pick up the lady. Ugh. Oh. Damn it. Looks like you've made a friend.
Nicole says, Mia Goths supposedly kicked some extra in the head and then made fun of them afterwards. That's not a good look. Um, because I can understand, uh, I, I don't know all the details. I can understand if you're like in the middle of some kind of stunt or scene, you accidentally kick him in the head. Don't make fun of him. Um, all right. What's the exit? Is this the exit? Yeah, this is the exit. Batman, did you put exit signs? Up? Oh, yeah, good. Okay, just checking. But yeah, actually, I think maybe Mask of the Phantasm might have been the first Batman movie I even saw. Because I feel like... Well, maybe... No, maybe I saw Batman Forever first. <laughs> so, yeah, like... It's one of those things where, you know, you see those Schumacher Batman movies, and at the same time they're airing Batman the Animated Series, you're like, what's going on? Like, Take her back to the cells. Why, are, why aren't the Animated Series guys making these movies? What's going on here? <laughs> Let him in when he gets there. Of course. I take it this means you stopped one of those monsters. Yes, but I'm not done yet. I do need to finish my rewatch of... I... <sighs> I started rewatching Batman the animated series, but I need to I need to finish it because I really want to watch the entirety of the DC animated universe in order. Never got around to doing that. I've seen it, the entirety of it, but not like in sequence or anything cool like that. So what do we have here? Poor little Batman. Oh, I got a fucking. All right, so I got to fight either the Joker rapper or the Joker Joe Bob Briggs. Joker Bob Briggs, I guess. I guess that's what we could call him. <laughs> All right, let's see. I can't let Harley's men see me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where is... Okay, yeah, I got to... There we go. I do also need to read the new Batman 89 comic that came, or at least that got started recently. I read the first one and I really liked it. I felt like it had a rushed conclusion, but otherwise, eh, you know, it was cool. I feel like that's just an issue with comics in general now. They all have like just these super rushed conclusions because they just, they... They have, like, a certain issue order that they have. But then they realize then they realize too late, Oh, wait, we need more issues to finish this story right. But we, we, we don't... We're not going to get that... We're not going to get more issues, though. So I guess we just got to fucking rush the story, you know? Whatever. All right. All right, what's up with this guy? I didn't know Robin was into weird BDSM shit. What the hell's going on here? What kind of Robin logo is that? It's just like a plain R. We're dead. What is this, the 1940s? What's going on here? <laughs> Put some style on that thing. Batman? Is that you? Batman's not coming to save you, Jason. Who could huh. Be? Why are we getting Jason Todd days. flashbacks? I think it's time to face that. It's almost as if they're... That's this. At the last minute, trying to set up a storyline that doesn't make any sense, huh? Do you any good? Why won't you just kill me? What? No, 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 no! I'm not going to kill you. Not yet, anyway. You're my sidekick now. Honest Dave says, "Would you ever consider reviewing Silver Bullet? It's about werewolves, just like you." I do need to cover some more werewolf movies. Need to like get on top of that. New kid of his. Though I feel like that might be something. I might want to focus more on like something like American Werewolf in London. I reviewed its shitty Paris sequel, but the point is, usually a dead giveaway. Could uh, do American Werewolf in London next. Really, I didn't have like lots of jokes about <laughs> John Landis. It's always fun. You to get closure. Now I know it hurts, but sometimes. You gotta be cruel to be kind. Well, it sucks to be Jason Todd, I guess. So, the reason why Batman sees these visions is 
part of how he's being turned into the Joker. Like, somehow Joker's blood also has all of the Joker's memories imprinted on it. So Batman is experiencing all of the Joker's memories. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know how blood can carry a memory, but, you know, I guess... I guess I, I'm learning something with this Batman game. <laughs> Now, I honestly don't really get much of a Joker vibe from this guy. Um, I feel like they should have made him more of like a Joker gang gang sort of guy. More of like a SoundCloud rapper. Oh, wait, no, he's not a rapper. He's a boxer. I don't know. I, he, they should have made him more like a Logan Paul sort of boxer in that case then. Like, I don't know. I got the two singer characters mixed up. There's Johnny Charisma. He's the singer guy. And this guy's a boxer. This is the closest thing, I think, to, like, an actual boss battle in this game. And it's not that great, honestly. You just kind of build up your combo a certain amount, and then you press the, the combo takedown button, and then that's pretty much it, the whole fight. They didn't really bother with boss battles in this game unless they're in, like, a tank. But, you know, Rocksteady, it really was important that the tank was fully utilized in the game. It was super important. No, no, I don't think so. Alright, get over here, dude. Oh, I don't think so, pal. Oh, what? I was like looking at the chat for a second there. Probably shouldn't do that. Err. Where are they getting all these henchmen? One thing I do love about, um... Arkham Knight is you can continue to hit henchmen even when they're knocked down. You couldn't do that in Arkham City, uh, Asylum, or Origins. Really appreciate that, because it makes it so it's... Your combos are a little harder to break in this game. Really appreciate it. Man, we're really fucking this guy up. Hell yeah. Oh. be so ironic if that guy just killed Robin. Oh, sh... Where are you, dude? You actually managed to knock me over. <laughs> nice work. Honest Dave is a super chat. Thank you, Dave. So, you finally admit that you are a werewolf? Um, well, I'm not a werewolf, but I am werewolf adjacent, so, um, you know. It just feels kind of natural. Because, you know, werewolves, they're never guy. like, I, ne I don't turn into another guy. And werewolves are never, like, talking or anything. You watch Wolfman. Like, Lon Chaney's not the Wolfman in, like, chatting about horror movies or anything. So I'm, I am I have to be a different thing, right? I mean, I can't be that thing, right? Just wouldn't make sense. I like how Robin is forced to carry this guy. Damn. And I'm just making him c carry him, like, just stand around carrying this guy. I'm just gonna, just gonna stand here for a little bit. Hmm. All right. Have fun with that, Robin. Have fun with that. I'll take this guy back to the cells. Penguin re Penguin reloaded ass. What kind of car does Dr. Wolfula drive? I drive a 2005 Hyundai Ascent. Would you please make your choice? It's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Oh, okay. I get to pick my Batmobile upgrades. EMP or weapon generate. Hmm. Uh, I'll go Listen with the EMP. Not that I'm gonna remember to fucking use it though. I do. Honestly, this is my favorite part of the game. Like my favorite level of this game, because it's an extended period where you're not using the Batmobile, and it's it's kind of got a Joker theme to it. You get to spend some time with these. Uh, Villains with, you know, personalities to them. 
I, it makes me wish the rest of the, it honestly feels like something from Asylum or City. Something that was kind of missing for most of the rest of the campaign where it's like, okay, I need to figure out how to make the Batmobile fit inside this department store. I gotta figure that out. Like, it's just like, oh my god, why does this matter? Ugh, why do I need to keep using the Batmobile? I need to get the Batmobile to go down in the sewer with me in order to complete this mission. Like, ugh, god, Batman, why? Why do you gotta do this to me? All right. Okay, um, let me see here. Oh, wait, wait, okay. First things first, I want it. Alright. There we go. Ado asks, Hey Doc, thoughts on Batman 89's Prince soundtrack? That was pretty cool. I like that era where it was... Where it's like, we need to... We need to put the songs in into the movie. Like, the tie-in performer they need to be in this film in some form where like you know there wasn't there's just not that level of synergy anymore where they had like the prince bat dance music video and they played two prince songs in the movie it's just you don't see that anymore it's so important that there's this like there's this strong connection with all the different uh, forms of media that we're trying to integrate to promote our films. You don't see it anymore. It was an interesting era. Huh. Now who's this guy? Hung up like a fuckable piece of bait. I wonder who this is. Well, I am feeling a little chilly, so I'd like that blanket. Whoa! Jason Todd again. What do we have here? My video maker asks, Billy Zane still not here. Is he okay? God, I hope he's safe. I haven't heard from Billy in a in a while. I hope I hope he's doing okay. You think I'm going to hurt you? Why? I'm not the bad one here. Oh no, 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 no. It's Batman. He's abandoned you. Thrown you away like an unwanted puppy. Can I have him, Daddy? Oh, please, please. Ooh, I like that little Joker brand. Good care of him. Ironically, Joker... I wonder, actually, if... In this flashback, Joker just brands his face, but I wonder if he also brands Jason's ass. I kind of wonder. Just a big J on his one of his ass cheeks. No, we don't, Daddy. I want to keep him forever. No, no, please. I wonder what this is setting up. Hmm... That's something to think about. Oh, yeah, and there's these, uh, Amadeus Arkham beetles on the floor. Also setting up an Arkham thing. Everything okay? You look spooked. Like, this I is supposed to look like some kind of abandoned wing yeah, from Arkham sure. Asylum. Hmm. There's one left. Come on. All right, let me see. Uh, Michael asks, Doc, did you hear that after all these years they are finally releasing the Jason Lives version of the Death in the Family comic? I didn't hear about that, um, but I am aware that when they were planning out the Death in the Family arc in the Batman comics, they basically had two scenarios you could that you could vote on just by, like, phoning DC... You could, they had a whole hotline set up where you could vote whether Robin lives or dies, and it was kind of close, but um, they ultimately, people just were really annoyed by Jason Todd's Robin, and maybe they just, you know, some people just didn't like Robin in general and just wanted to see Batman on his own, at least for a while. So they killed Jason. Um, it didn't last long, because then they introduced him tim drake like i think like a year later or something as robin um so it was very short-lived a short-lived stint where batman didn't have a robin hanging around um you know that always happens where it's just like yeah let's let's go back to having a robin i know part of the point of this story arc was seeing what it would be like without a robin for a bit but well, you know enough of that let's Let's go back to having a Robin. Let's just do... Let's bring back Robin.
But yeah, I am also aware, though, that they, you know, part of that publicity stunt was having an extra scenario in case Robin does survive. Though I wasn't aware that they, I don't know, I'm imagining, like, they made, like, a whole different issue, or at least scripted it out, maybe penciled it even. I wasn't aware of any of that. Uh, so I suppose it would be interesting to, I guess, see what that's like. And, you know, they didn't just, like, blow up Jason Todd. They, you know, Joker bludgeons him to death with a crowbar beforehand. Or it just doesn't seem like he could possibly survive it. It felt like Danny O'Neill, who wrote that storyline, was like, yeah, we're definitely going to kill this guy. <laughs> He's definitely going to die. Um, maybe we, we could pull something out of our ass for y you guys if you really want him to survive, but... We're definitely intending for him this to die. Is mechanical with no digital components. I won't be able to use the remote hacking device. And it's funny now thinking about it, because Jason was brought back in 2004, so he's only gone for like 15 years, which is kind of a long time. But now we've had Jason Todd alive for longer than he's been dead. Now it's been now it's been 20 years of him just being alive. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Not quite the same as Bucky Barnes. Bucky Barnes was brought back to life, but he he was dead for like 60, 60, 70 years before they were like, hey, let's, let's bring this guy back. <laughs> there used to be a saying that the only characters that stay dead are Uncle Ben, Jason Todd, and Bucky Barnes, but now it's just Uncle Ben. Um, they've never... As far as I know, they've never, they've never brought Uncle Ben back to life, at least in any mainstream continuities. But there's always a chance. All right, so this is a pretty simple puzzle. So first things first, zero is the first number. But guess what? He thinks I can't see, but there's a mirror right next, next to him. So it's zero. Then it's uh, okay. So it's zero five. All right, zero five. That's going to be... Let me think. Yeah, that's going to be 1. 0, 5, 1, 5. All right. Okay. At least I think so. That isn't the right sequence. Oh, wait, not at all. try again. 0, 5... Oh, wait, 0, 5, 3, 5, I think. That's the wrong... How am I fucking this up? Oh, my God. Scanning the video. All right, let's see. Let me make sure. I always hate this. I always, like, embarrass myself. So, zero. Five. So, okay, so zero, five, three. Oh, wait, no, I saw the wrong number. So, zero, five, three, nine. There we go, okay. Saw a five when it was a nine. There we go. All right. I always embarrass myself, even with the simplest puzzles, because I just am not paying full attention. That Telltale Jurassic Park live stream was just fucking brutal. Just not fully paying attention to what the puzzle is. Because it's a stream, and I'm, like, looking at the chat. You're like, oh, God. You can see the crowd is so excited, it may just explode! Yay, we get to watch Mark Hamill Joker sing. It's always my favorite part of any any Joker section of any Batman media. I totally forgot I'm playing as the Robert Pattinson Joker with all this shit happening. All right, so basically I need to hack these bombs. Pretty simple, you just hold down the A button. I believe you have a very, um, you have a time limit, but it's plenty of time. You just gotta make sure you're not seen by the uh, light. Just avoid getting spotted by that light and you're good. But then it gets a little challenging because you have to sneak up on Joker at the end, but um, 
Oh, wait, shit. This might not be a good idea. But, uh, yeah, no, wait, no, cancel it. Okay, so there's no way to cancel it if you start to disarm it. So, yeah, um, I was playing with fire there. I should not have done that. <laughs> I should have waited it out a little bit more or just gone ahead and, uh, all right, let's do that again. <laughs> Pretty simple, but easy to fuck up if you're not paying proper attention. All right, wait it out a little bit. Then we'll move on to the next one. There we go. Get to hear some more of Mark Hamill Joker singing, though. All right, let's wait for this uh, ring to go through. There we go. I was like, oh, I could probably disarm the bomb in time. No way to cancel it once you start. Feels like, I don't know, a little bit of a fuck up. They probably could have done that, but whatever. Zachar says, it's said that we likely won't see Mark Hamill back as a Joker since Kevin Conroy passed away. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure, like, how they can use Mark Hamill Joker ever again. Because it just doesn't... Why can't I move? Okay, um... Wait, what happened? The, the game is locked. I can't move anymore. What is going on here? Okay, so my keyboard controls work, but my actual controller stopped working. The controller's lit up, too. All right, let's reset it. Fucking Xbox controllers. All right, and I just know once I... Once I unpause, Robin's gonna stand up and fuck this up for me. Come on, re... Ah, shit. I do not know how to play this game with mouse and keyboard controls, so this has got to work. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, good. All right. Had me scared for a second there. I am never playing any of these Batman games with mouse and keyboard controls. I can play, like, a shooter type of game with mouse and keyboard controls or a point-and-click game just fine, but I am not playing something like this with a keyboard and mouse. No way. Fuck that. All right. Now I just gotta wait until he's facing away. And then uh, sneak up on... Come on, sneak up on him. There we go. Hell yeah. What kind of joker uses a suicide vest? Come on. All right. He's a professional singer. Even Alfred seems better than this guy. Good I want to hear the level where Alfred sings. They should have made a DLC where Alfred's singing. That would have been great. Batman, please, you have to... Another atheist says, at least you're not controlling a submarine to the Titanic. That's true. Maybe that's what happened is... <laughs> Like, it's fucked up because they were controlling that submarine with a wireless controller, too. I can't imagine there be good latency under the sea. Like, I can't imagine a Bluetooth controller being able, like, to being reliable for that kind of situation. Like, just, it feels like a boomer that's like, I went to, I got this controller from... <laughs> fucking Radio Shack 20 years ago. And you know, it's, I think it's still good. I think it's totally, totally fine for this multi-million dollar, th like, just like fucking half-assing the safety and uh, like everybody's safety. Go like, I, you know, if you see that controller and you still go on that submarine though, you know, whatever happens to you, it's... <laughs> It's on you. It's, uh, you know, if you look at that and you're like, no fucking way am I doing this. You know, if you don't do that, then, you know, if you die down there, it's it's whatever. It's just hard to feel s sorry for anybody who pays that much money and the whole operation looks like it's like being held together with duct tape and rubber bands. Like, it's just hard to feel sorry for those people who died, you know? 
I am aware, like, I know, like, one of the uh, Simpsons producers uh, slash writers, Mike Reese, went on that fucking Titan submarine before it killed people. And he managed to, like, survive it. And, like, yeah, <laughs> lucky for him, but, like, man. Damn. You, like, I don't know how any, like, anybody writing, if you're, like, writing The Simpsons and you're getting on that submarine, like, the kind of thing you would make fun of on the show in its golden age, like, I don't know what you're, what are you fucking doing, dude? Like, come on. <laughs> I can understand, like, why the show has gone downhill when there's, like, a guy who's willing to go on that fucking Titan sub still in charge of the show. Like, that's insanity. Like, wow. Ugh. <laughs> All right. Open the damn door. No problem. They're definitely going to open the door. Logan the Lobotomizer asks, can we come to your house? I'm letting you into my home every time you watch one of my videos or one of my streams. I'm not only letting you into my home, I'm letting you into my heart. Alrighty. Finally, less of a sausage fest in this game. Uh, he figured I could handle you by myself. He doesn't take you very seriously. Neither do I. Lou Bliss says maybe that that was a writer for the later season. No, Mike Reese was around for like the golden era of The Simpsons. But it's one of those things where like Mike Reese and um, Al Jean they've been around so long that they're just kind of. Their brains are fucking pudding. Like, they're just cashing in a paycheck. They're still around. They've been around since... Since the early days, but they... Just don't fucking care anymore is the issue. Just don't fucking care anymore. Alright. This is going to be the hardest boss battle in the whole game. Oh, yeah. Choke slammer. Right in the tits. Okay. She doesn't even get involved in the fight. <laughs> like the last time where you could depict Harley Quinn as, like, not capable in a fight. Now I have to believe that Harley Quinn can help in a fight against Superman or something in the new Suicide Squad game. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna watch Harley Quinn fighting giant space aliens with like machine guns. Ugh. Here we go. Oh man, beating the fuck out of this one guy. All right. Right in the damn stomach, too. Oh, I broke my combo. All right, time to do the same to you. They did refine the Harley Quinn henchmen designs from uh, Harley Quinn's Revenge. They look a lot better. Oh, man, I love it when they're like ragdoll physics bug out sometimes. Irresistible. We need to get back now, this is one character I have to pick up myself, Robin. I'm sorry. I know I let you pick up the other ones, but yeah, guess what? Now I'm I'm picking picking up Harley. I just have to pick up Harley. The thing I love about Harley Quinn in this game is her ass has jiggle physics. I've never seen like at least up until the GTA 6 trailer, I've never seen like ass jiggle physics in a game before. Like they. They like, I now I can understand why she uses the term pudding so much, cause yeah, that that thing is thicker than a bowl of pudding right there. Like, dear lord. I don't know if I really want to leave this part of the game anytime soon, cause this is definitely one of the highlights. Um, this is I feel like this is something that has launched like so many, so many fetishes since its release. Yes, you're helpless. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for the generous super chat, K-Steady. I appreciate it. Happy New Year to you. Love what you do, Doc. What's your most anticipated horror movie for 2024? Now, that's hard to say because 
I feel like 2023 had like a lot of good movies and games coming out all the time, but I couldn't really tell you much about what's even coming out this year. Like, I don't know if there's... I guess I could look it up real quick. Um, grab my phone real quick, see if the... Okay, well, I gotta... All right, there we go. <laughs> Let me remind myself the upcoming release slate. I feel like they brought out all the big guns last year. I is the third like is the Pearl sequel even coming out this year? I wonder. Cause I would be looking forward to that, but I don't even know if it's coming out this year. Let me see. There's like an imaginary friend horror movie coming out about like a killer teddy bear. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, there's the first Omen, which is like an Omen prequel. I don't know about that. Beetlejuice 2 seems like it'll be fun, but that's not necessarily going to be a horror movie. Um, let me think. Medusa's Venom? What are these things? Like, what? <laughs> I think Terrifier 3 is coming out this year? I need to catch up on those Terrifier movies. Um... A movie called Baghead is coming out in Febru February. I, I don't. Lisa Frankenstein looks kind of fun. From Diablo Cody and like directed by Robin Williams' daughter Zelda Williams. I'd be interested in that. Looks like it'll at least be kind of fun. Um, Ghostbusters: Frozen Empire. Not really a horror movie, but I might check that out. I I wasn't so into the previous one, but. Maybe they'll uh, get it together. There's Godzilla X-Kong, which is so funny. It's such a funny title for the Godzilla versus King Kong movie. Like, Godzilla X-Kong, like they're a couple or something. Like, they're being shipped. Um, there's a new Silent Hill movie coming out. Eh, not so into that outside of, like, a video game. Strangers Chapter 1. So I'm guessing that's a Strangers prequel. Might have to check that out in May. Put out some uh, vids on the first two Strangers movies. Quiet Place Day One. Lots of weird prequel movies coming out this year, huh? There's because there's also the first Omen. Alien Romulus is coming out. I don't. I've heard about some new Alien things coming out. I haven't heard of that. Smile Two. Didn't even see the first one, but whatever. I do know there's a new um, Nosferatu movie coming out. It has Bill Skarsgård as Nosferatu. It's also going to have Willem Dafoe in it, but he's not going to be playing Nosferatu this time, which is kind of funny to me. Jordan Peele's fourth movie apparently is coming out, but there's no clear ideas of when that's actually coming out. So Maxine might be coming out this year, but I, we don't really know. Hmm. So yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not super big on this year compared to previous years. Um... Hopefully that'll change and we'll get some more announcements. But uh, yeah, <laughs> interesting view this whole time. Uh, let me uh, catch up with, uh, okay, Joseph Finley has a super chat. Speaking of pudding, what would Mr. Cosby say? I'm sure Mr. Cosby would say something along the lines of, Zap, zap, zoop, now this bitch has got some pudding pops that I can... Uh, dip my fingers in. <laughs> I wouldn't mind dipping my fingers into this pudding pie. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Enough of this. Let's move. Let's move on. But seriously, though, man, they need to bring... I'm really hoping Suicide Squad versus Justice League has, like, the ass physics. Like, I'm hoping that's, like, the future... Like, that's what this generation is going to be all about. It's going to be ass physics. You know, that's going to be the... Well, we, uh... That's going to be the big innovation. Because GTA 6 has, like, ass physics in it. At least from what they've shown so far. Displaying their engine. So, I guess we'll see how extensive the ass physics are. Rob Jr. says, how about Steamboat Kill 8? Now, I did go into some detail about the Steamboat Willie horror movies that are coming out, but I don't really know when any of them are coming out, though. You killed them. They don't have any, like, set release dates. I suppose Mickey's Mousetrap is coming out decently soon, but that could 
I mean, with the Winnie the Pooh horror movie, they only shot like a little bit of it. I think they only shot one scene of the Winnie the Pooh horror movie. Then they released like a statement saying, we're making a Winnie the Pooh horror movie. And then they shot the rest of it like really quickly. Once they got, you know, the investment they needed from that, uh, you know, the, all the free publicity they got for that Winnie the Pooh horror movie, just shooting one scene. So it's possible with that uh, Mickey Mouse horror movie that we've seen so far, they've only shot maybe one or two scenes and uh, they, they don't have the rest of the movie ready. So who knows when we're going to actually see these movies? Who knows? But yeah, um, so it turns out this guy is the alpha Joker, seemingly, Henry Adams. Um, he's the apex Joker, the true successor to the Joker, now that the Joker's dead. And he's killing all these other Jokers. Well, he's already killed him. Which, you know, I guess is a pretty neat twist with this section. Even amoebas can do it. The guy who seemed like the most um, normal out of all these jokers seemed like he wasn't affected was actually playing the long con. He's the scheming side of the joker. But then he realizes, wait! Unexpected. Wait. You're gonna be Batman's also the Joker, and he's so much better physically than fucking Henry Adams is. So much better physically and mentally, so Henry Adams just fucking sh blows his own head off. You can't have two Jokers, except in that one comic where they had three Jokers. Um, but no, you can't have two Jokers. When I'm done, I'm locking myself away. What if you fail? It'll be too dangerous. I won't be able to stop you. I'm seeing double here. Four jokers. No, 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 no. You are not going to do this. Lou Bliss says, where's the Sigma Joker? Well, Batman is the Sigma Joker. And Sigma's Trump alphas, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Save it to God is a super chat. Doc, what was better? The Banana Splits movie, Willy's Wonderland, or Five Nights at Freddy's movie? Also, Doc, have you seen Godzilla Minus One? Um... Well, I guess ranking those three movies, for me at least, I, part of the issue is I'm just not really a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's to begin with, so I couldn't really tell you how well it captured the spirit of playing the games or the lore. I couldn't tell you. All I could really say is, is I just wasn't very entertained with Five Nights at Freddy's, the movie at least. Um, whereas, you know... Willy's Wonderland and the Banana Splits movie were much lower rent compared to the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, but at least they were felt like they were trying to be crowd pleasers. They had, like, interesting, exciting things happening. They were kind of shitty, but shitty in a fun way, at least. Um, so, I don't know. I... I say I'd rather watch those over the Five Nights at Freddy's movie at least but you know and you know I was made aware that the reason why the Five Nights at Freddy's movie was so somber was not because the director had anything to do with it it was just because the creator of the series uh, has a lot of creative control over the movie and just wanted it that way it was just wanted it to be like a somber kind of uh <laughs> <laughs> I can handle Scarecrow. Just a somber animatronic, killer animatronic movie, I guess. I don't know. TJ says that Mickey Mouse Trap Wikipedia says March 2024. Okay. Looks like we're going to be seeing some uh, killer Mickey in the coming months. I guess we'll see. I'm sorry. I'm a little, I don't know. I'm a little, um,. Skeptical about that just because I remember the Winnie the Pooh horror movie had an earlier release date, but then they ended up pushing it back because then they were able to get like an actual theatrical distribution deal against all odds. <laughs> just imagining someone going to a theater to see that Winnie the Pooh horror movie. Oh man, you'll be fine. It's crazy. Of course, I will. 
You train me. Now this is a decent midway point for me to take a quick break while Batman is captured and imprisoned by Robin. Robin will definitely save the day himself. I'll be right back. But uh, stay, stay seated. I'll be back in, in about a minute. All right, I'm back. Okay. Let me grab the controller and switch back to me. There we go. Mm. Oh, yeah, and I got a fresco with me, too, right here. Hell yeah. Okay. Security lockdown initiated. All right, well, looks like I have to spend the rest of the game just kind of cheering Robin on from the sidelines. I'm sure he'll have this uh, situation handled. I can just chill out for a bit. Just sort of hang out in my uh, bat cell. It's kind of fucked up that Robin didn't leave me anything to do in here, though. Like, I don't have, like... Didn't leave me, like, a su Sudoku or Rubik's Cube? That's he. I'm sure he won't die. No, fairly certain anyway. Hey, hey! Oh, okay. Well, I guess we get a little uh, extra Jason Todd flashback. Hmm. Way Cool Dude says, We live in a world where a bad horror movie based on Winnie the Pooh got a theatrical release instead of being straight to video. Well, it does sort of say something about how theatrical distribution is kind of... Um, it's in a desperate state where it's either got to be these big tentpole movies or kind of these movies that are sort of more novelty kind of. They have just more novelty value to them where you're just like, wow, they made that? Okay, I guess I'll check that out. <laughs> Batman. Excellent. I can tell people later I went to a movie theater to watch a Winnie the Pooh horror film. Did you get that, Bats? I was so annoyed when that went to theaters, though, because I was like, ah, oh, man. It's going to be harder to, like, I have to wait to, like, do a proper video on it. I'm not going to have access to the clips or anything. Like, that sucks. What's the big secret? Who is the big bad bat? Whoa, I never realized just how high up these... Oh! Fuck, you just smoked that dude! That's why I like to work alone. No one to spoil the punchline. You should try it sometime. After all, you've seen what happens when you drag your friends into this crazy little game of ours. Well, Jason Todd's definitely dead. There's no way you could survive a bullet to the fucking face. It's impossible. Oh, well, rest in peace, Jason Todd. I'm sure we'll never see you ever again. They kind of black out his face, so you're like, wait, can I see the bullet hole? Can I see it? No, it's just too dark. I can't see it. It's hard to tell. Oh, well. Henry Adam, oh, I don't want to listen to that. You need to get in the cell. I'm not getting back in that cell, fucking Robin. No. No, I already saw one of you guys get your fucking head blown off. It's not happening. Come on. You need to do... No. The right thing. Trust. Have fun in that cell, dude. 
Listen to me. We can help you. You don't need to do this. Alfred. Trey Underwood says Jack Frost deserves a legitimate remake in all honesty. Good ideas tampered by bad execution and low budget. You are of course referring to the Michael Keaton Jack Frost, right? <laughs> I feel like that movie never reached its true potential either, so uh, I'd definitely be game to, you know, check out a new take on Michael Keaton's Jack Frost. It could be like Beetlejuice 2, Jack Frost 2, revisiting Jack Frost all these years later. Thanks, Alfred. I am interested in, like, a new horror Jack Frost. I, I don't know. that. I feel like they could do a, a much better job today could be like a shutter movie or whatever they were they were hoping to make like some kind of godzilla version of jack frost like a jackzilla movie or whatever the fuck it was going to be called but it just never happened but first before i leave i need to tell robin that his fiance oracle barbara gordon is dead she's definitely dead she, there's no way she's coming back i have to tell him or I could maybe not, you know, doesn't really need to know, but no, I have to tell him. They're like canonically, rom romantically involved, not just in this one video game. They are always been, they've always been a couple in everything. Barbara Gordon and Jason Todd, there's definitely no age difference between them. Definitely no like 15 year age gap. I mean, no, 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 I have to tell him. All right. Tim, there's something you need to know something's happened no not her king of the fat says doc can you please stop ignoring my question it's not that i'm ignoring your question king of the fat is i just haven't been seeing your question because i'm also playing a video game they're targeting everyone sorry it happens i won't let them get you guess i can Bruce, please i have to do this after this no you son of a bitch how dare after you this dramatic moment don't get to this side now, Robin in the previous game was voiced by Troy Baker. And I guess he kind of technically is still voiced by Troy Baker in this game, but at least not the Tim Drake Robin. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can find... Oh, wait. This King of the Fat ass Doc, did you see the new Aqua Teen Hunger Force season? I didn't. Um, I got the box set of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, so I need to, like, catch up on... The episodes I didn't see already. But I eventually, maybe I'll check out the new season of Aqua, Twe Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Immune to mad clown disease, then that means there is no cure after all. You had Featherhead slaving away with other fish to fry. Is that Kingpin? Oh, it's like a Basil Carlo movie. Oh, yeah. Selfish and had horrible consequences. Oh, if you only meant it. Now, if you're not familiar with the Clayface mythos in the comics, it's pretty, um, a little convoluted, at least in the comics. Uh, the original Clayface was Basil Carlo, who was essentially like a mixture of Boris Karloff and, uh, Lon Chaney Sr. He's like a man of a thousand faces, and when he finds out that they're remaking one of his horror movies, he basically dresses up like a Scooby-Doo villain named Clayface, but he has no powers as Clayface. He's just a guy with a knife who just kind of stabs people. He's just like a masked killer, and he gets arrested. Then the second Clayface arrives, named Matt Hagen. Matt Hagen actually has powers, but his powers are kind of weird. He finds, like, these urns. Like, he's basically like a uh, deep-sea diver who, like, you know, s steals shit from sunken... Steals shit from sunken ships, and he finds these urns in a sunken ship, or like urns in like a uh, an underwater lagoon or uh, grotto or or whatever, and they're they're urns that have like a magic, I don't know, some kind of magic serum or whatever, that when you like cover yourself in this magic serum, it turns you into like a clay monster that can change shape and shit. So that's how Matt Hagen got his powers. But he never really had powers on his own. He had to, like, periodically go back and get some more of this fucking magic. This magic goo that turned him into, like, a clay face monster guy. Um, then there's the third clay face. 
named um uh something pain uh what's it what was his name his last name was pain but i can't remember his uh his first name but he was essentially like an a, a metaphor for aids where he basically turns people he touches into protoplasm anybody he touches basically melts which is kind of op but um you know pretty interesting uh and you know he has to wear like this suit he basically looks like mr freeze joseph d says preston Payne. yes it's preston Payne was the uh third clay face and yeah preston he has to wear this suit and he's really crazy and he has like a uh he basically is in love with like a mannequin and um <laughs> yeah so he's he's kind of neat and then there's the fourth Clayface, who's a female Clayface, Lady Clay. She's honestly the the real legitimate Clayface. She actually has powers inherent to her. She can transform. She can do all that stuff without needing, like, the serum that Matt Hagen needed. And Matt Hagen, at this point, is dead. He gets killed during the Infinite Crisis. Like, he escapes from prison and is immediately killed <laughs> during the... Uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. <laughs> um, so he gets killed off. And uh, eventually the original Clayface, the one without superpowers at all, um, Basil Carlo, he decides to try to make a team out of the Clayface. It's called the Mud Pack. And he tries to bring Clayface 2 back to life. Matt Hagen, but he's unsuccessful. But his whole scheme was he wasn't really interested in having like a su super villain team with all the Clayfaces. He just wanted to get all the clay faces together, which is pretty much just two of them, and just steal their superpowers and become the ultimate clay face. Which is, you know, a pretty neat way to make, like, make the original clay face, like, relevant again. Give them actual powers and everything. Pretty neat. So he's, like, a clay face that can melt people and also shape shift, become, like, monstrous size and everything. So that's the history of the clay faces. And then there's also Clayface 2, clay, Clayface 3 and 4 eventually have like a son together named Cassius Clay. That's his actual name. Um, uh, <laughs> fucking stupid. Uh, but whatever. That's the full Clayface story. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, eventually, you know, Clayface 3 who was only in love with a mannequin for so long, eventually he, uh, gets it with another Clayface lady, you know? Uh, so there's hope for all of us. Someday you might find your... your Clayface. Might not happen anytime soon, but eventually... we all find our Clayfaces. The Clayface that was meant for us. All right. Get there. All right. Actually, continue the story. Uh, Sid Barrett says, Doc, can you please send some positive thoughts to my friend Tans Dashun Maisie? She's battling cancer. All right, I'm sending all the positive vibes to you and your friend and Daisy. I'm hoping they pull through and you, you guys can uh, spend many more years together because it's never it's never fun even risking losing a pet I understand that all right time to upgrade the rocksteady Batmobile I didn't even notice it has the rocksteady logo on it TJ Walker says, man, that Texas Chainsaw Massacre game really died off quick. Yeah, they did not have a, uh, they did not have a, you know, a play, they just didn't have a plan in place for what it was going to be beyond what it is. I'm, I'm honestly glad I didn't fucking pay for it. <laughs> just part of my Game Pass subscription. The Batwing is still conducting scans of the entire city, but there is no sign of it. Let me know because they've already announced that the Evil Dead game is ending its um, 
Well, it's long ended. It's you know support. You can still play it, but uh, they're not updating it at all anymore. They're done with the updates. It's just what it is from now on. With no indication of there being any future either. It's unfortunate. Um, it's starting to seem like maybe this is not the way to go with these horror games, but you know, I don't know. I just... They keep they keep making these games, so I don't know. Maybe there's I guess maybe there's like a lot of short term cash to be made. Like you can make a lot of money from the DLC because I saw they have like just a Leatherface skin in that new like they have a Leatherface skin made made by one of uh, made by one of the KNB guys, and it's the skin costs I think twenty six dollars just for one skin it's just insane it's just like insane money grubbing just crazy you could buy you could buy the fucking cyberpunk phantom liberty expansion for the amount of money they're charging for some of these dlcs it's just crazy they're charging 10 bucks per new character like they basically are like please stop Please stop supporting our game. Please, for the love of God. Please stop supporting our game. I don't even have any real interest in streaming that game anymore. Like, I thought I'd be, like, going back to it. I thought they'd be upgrade updating it a lot with, like, new content that's interesting. But, like, I'm not paying 10 bucks to download Black Nancy and show her off. In the, like, and maybe not even get to play as her because it's, like... You know, it's like a lottery as far as who gets to play what character in that game. Ugh. Thank you for the super chat, my video. And you say, would you mind watching this horror short I worked on with my friend? It's called Eyes Forward by New Voodoo Films. Trying to get the word out. Yeah, I can check it out. Just, uh, you can message me on Instagram at Dr. Wolfula. Or, or you can, uh, send me the link on... Oh, shit! You can send me the link on... My e at my email at drwolfulafanmail at gmail.com. Uh, all right. Okay. That helicopter guy really stuck up on me. All right. Took out all the cauldron guys. Hell yeah. Sid Barrett says, Doc, you are the best. I follow you on four profiles and three different accounts i try to thumbs up and watch all of your videos to help the channel thank you really appreciate it sid appreciate all the support you've given me oh yeah i forget like you have you have to like get delivered the upgrade too oh wait no 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 all right i know what it is and it's not good all right, time for some more tank shit. They were like, okay, the player spends a lot of time not using the tank. We spent millions of dollars, like, programming. Gotta make them use the fucking tank again. They might be enjoying the game now. It's time for scarecrow Let's bring back the tank. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Thank you for the super chat, Ghost Ranger. What is your opinion on the Bale and Pattinson suit? Um, I really like the Batman Begins suit. But it's, um, whoop. But it's not a, uh, it's not a suit that, you know, is very practical just because, you know, it's basically the Keaton suit without the, uh, without the yellow oval. Like, you know, you can't turn your head. But I like that suit. If they just made it so you could turn your head, that'd be fine. But I, I'm just a little iffy on the Dark Knight suit. And the Dark Knight Rises suit, which was basically basically the same suits. Not so into it, just because they just feel a little too busy. But, um... Ultimately, their purpose is to look like practical bat suits. Like, something that makes a little more sense in a realistic setting. So I can understand why they went in that direction with it. But... Nah, not just not so into the design as much. Also, it just makes it also just makes Christian Bale's Batman look a little smaller than he actually is for some reason. Oh my 
God, I hate these fucking tank battles. Hate this shit. God. All right. All right. Let's use the EMP blast. It's like I'm playing Tank for the Atari 2600. It's like a 3D remake of Tank. Oh, fuck me. God. There. Okay, there we go. All right. Gavin says Disney did terrible this last year. Oh wait, but oh wait, before I, I also I didn't really mention the uh, the Pattinson suit. I I do like the Pattinson suit overall. It kind of looks like the Arkham Knight suit. My only real issue is just the cowl. It looks too much like Adam West Batman, which is by design, but not so into like the leather, like it just it being like leather and homemade. Like I'm not so into that. Oh great, a tank stealth section. Awesome. But yeah, Gavin says Disney did terrible this last year. Yeah, they, they, they're not doing well, which, you know, is pretty good news. They, it feels like they just kind of stopped caring. They're just, like, their strategy seems to be, like, people will just go to see the movies in the theaters no matter what. We don't have to care about this anymore. And now it's, like, backfiring, finally, because it feels like that's been the case for a while. But I feel like maybe they're realizing, oh, that can only... You can only say that for so long before, you know, eventually people actually also stop caring. Probably not the best time to do that. Uh, shit, just because, yeah, you get, uh, those guys chasing you. Um, it's crazy how, um, how persistent the tank guys are. They are super fast. They seem like they're not fast, just because they spend most of the time just kind of searching for you very slowly, but they're very fast. There's an even tougher variant of them I'm going to have to deal with pretty soon. Anthony F. says, what if the twist was that they were all man drones and Batman killed them all? I think then they'd have to have Batman fucking blow his head, own head off or something. <laughs> it's like, oh no. I've been killing real men. Not just crippling them, but actually killing them. I can't keep doing this. There can never be a Batman again. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, wait! Oh. Alright. Let's just, let's just peek. A little peek. Here we go. Alright. Bye, homie. Uh. The drone, sir. Uh. All right, I am out of there. Got the fuck out of there. Uh. But Ghost Ranger has another super chat. Thank you, Ghost. I love that. I love the Bale and Affleck suit in the game, along with the Keaton suit. But I'm glad I got all those riddles done. Oh yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah, I. It took me many years before I finally got around to getting all the riddles done in this game, because some of them are just a real pain in the ass. I feel like it's easier in Arkham City and Arkham Origins. I did them all in also our Asylum, of course. They were all very doable in those games, but Arkham Knight, it just felt like a lot of them were just really extra tedious to do, even though there's less than Arkham City. All right, gotta get out of here. Because the thing I hate the most about the Riddler stuff in this game is in order to see, like, the full ending without just watching it on YouTube, which is what I did, like, which is what I ended up just doing until I finally got all the Riddler trophies years later, is, you know, to get the full ending, you have to do all the Riddler shit. It's required. But it's, like, such a shitty... It's such a shitty payoff, because it's just like an extra minute, minute or two scene that you get to see. But in order to see that legit, and not just by, like, watching it on YouTube, you have to get all the Riddler shit. Instead of it just being a separate, unrequired, fucking, uh, 
bonus thing you can do. Like, it's treating it, it's, it, like, the issue with this game is that it treats all of the side content as required main content, when it should all just be fucking side content. Like, I, it, you know, you, like, where the reward should have just been, oh, you get, like, a fancy bat suit if you do everything. It shouldn't have been, like, oh, you get to see the, the full conclusion of the story if you do all this side shit. Like, it's just... Just hate it. Oh, well. I can't stop him. You don't need to. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay. All right. Last guy. Don't look up. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 You coming back around this way, dude? Which way you going? Which way you going, dude? You going back this way? Make up your mind, man. Make up your mind. Come on. All right. There we go. Hell yeah. Cobras eliminated. I should take Ivy back to GCPD before the Arkham Knight launches another assault. It's too dangerous to leave her exposed. Another atheist says, Doc, you... Do you know the bat metal videos with the songs by Death Clock? I don't. I can't say that I do. I do know Death Clock from Metalocalypse. I still haven't seen the Metalocalypse movie, though. Ooh, I need to interrogate this guy. Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, this is the wrong way to handle it. Okay, um... All right. I just need to tap that guy. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, there we go. Talk. Ghost Ranger has a super chat. I just got, I just got my first Hot Toys figure today. I got the Bale Batman figure. It's amazingly realistic. That's cool. I've seen those Hot Toys. They, they're like, they just look like miniature versions of like a real. A real guy, like a real... Seen the Star Wars ones? Like a real Jedi or a real superhero? Like, pretty impressive. Imagine they're pretty pricey, but they're really cool. I'm wondering if you got the... If it's the Batman Begins or Dark Knight variant of his suits. I was kind of hoping that they'd... Ah, that's something I was hoping that they'd do with Dark Knight Rises. They'd make the suits look a little different between movies, but now, like, with Rises, they're like, no, it's basically the same suit from Dark Knight. You know? It's the same suit. It, it's got maybe some slight differences, but it's essentially the same suit. Eh. I was, like, I was like, what's the suit gonna look like this time around? A lot of time's passed. You know, it's gotta be some new tech that he could uh, integrate into the suit to make it look uh, new and cool. Nope. 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 Same suit. Anthony F says, My nostalgia won't allow me to have many negatives about this game. Well, you know, I started with Asylum when it came out. So, just a little more, um... You know, I guess a little more down on this game. You're coming with me. It's a tall order to finish any trilogy, admittedly. But then again, I feel like it's a trilogy is always an arbitrary thing. I'm not a big fan of the trilogy. <laughs> like, the approach to everything needing to be a trilogy these days. Because, you know, it felt like it started with Lord of the Rings. But Lord of the Rings wasn't really a trilogy. It was just one book. And for financial reasons they couldn't publish that one big book so they split it up into three separate books but you know nowadays they just make like all these separate stories like a trilogy when a trilogy trilogy should just feel like this is one cohesive narrative that's just like been split apart in three parts but it's never really that it's always like here's three totally different stories and the third one wraps up a storyline that arbitrarily has been, like, has we've been building up to this arbitrary conclusion when, I don't know, I feel like the real approach nowadays should be 
It's worse than I thought. You basically, you know, have the story end where it makes sense. You don't worry so much about, okay, this needs to end within three, three stories. No, you just see where it goes, you know. If it makes sense to end it at three, sure. But if it feels like, okay, we could do some more with this, you don't have to end it. You don't have to be like, well, this this has to be over. Like, we can't have Bat Arkham Batman going on more adventures or anything after this. No, he has to be done. He has to be done. Can't do any more with him. Because it's fucked up. We could have had so many more Kevin Conroy Arkham games, but they were like, no, uh... Arkham Batman's just, you know, we're not we're not doing that anymore. Now we can't have that anymore. Ugh. There was like a... Almost a decade before Kevin Conroy passed away where we could have had so much more Batman media with him, but no, it just didn't happen. But hopefully... His legacy is carried on in the Suicide Squad game. Hopefully we don't end up killing him in that game. That would really suck. Sir, I've never seen a chemical agent disperse so fast. I know, Alfred. TJ says, David Gordon Green ruined trilogies. Okay, well, I wouldn't say that, but I would say Disney ruined trilogies with the Star Wars sequel trilogy. I feel like the fact that they approached it like a trilogy, but they didn't have a set narrative in place is what was ultimately the problem with that sequel trilogy if it was not a trilogy and they didn't have a narrative idea if they didn't have any idea where it was going to go it wouldn't have been a big deal because they would have had like they shouldn't have called them episodes for one thing force awakens shouldn't have been episode seven it should have just been this is the force awakens this is like a new a new saga that's totally separate from the lucas movies like separate in the sense that these are not episodes that's its own story that carries you know that carries the characters and setting forward but it's not like you know part of that original saga so for one thing but also just treat it like you know the marvel situation where it's like we have like a vague idea where we're going but we're gonna take as many movies as we can to get there you know where you know they could have been like they could have had like six of these new star wars movies and we could have got to le learn who these characters were but no there's, there's this arbitrary feeling that no everything has to be a trilogy now so now we have to rush everything we have to like have the characters get to know each other and have chemistry with each other between movies where it's like it's just so unearned because we don't have any time to do to do all the things we need to do because we're constrained within the boundaries of this needs to be a trilogy because trilogies are the thing for some reason which is so stupid because it's like not like jj abrams or ryan johnson was around for all three of the movies together no they like were passing them back and forth like a fucking relay race so it's just like why was it a, even a trilogy? Like, it wasn't like one guy's vision. If it was one guy's vision, okay, maybe it would make sense as a trilogy, but it's like just... No, it just has to be a trilogy. Like, it's just, like, it's just how it is. And the fucked up thing is the original Star Wars trilogy is only a trilogy because George Lucas had kids around Return of the Jedi and was like, you know, I don't really want to be still making these movies and raising kids, so I'm just going to take a break from them because... The original plan was there was there was for there to be six Star Wars movies with Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, and Carrie Fisher. Luke's sister was going to be a totally different character. They were going to explore all this stuff in those six movies, and then there'd be a sequel trilogy that would carry on like years later, and of course the prequel trilogy. But so yeah, in, in total twelve movies. But George Lucas was just like, okay, we gotta wrap this up. I, I, I I'm a dad now. I can't be working on these Star Wars things anymore. It's eh, take it easy. Yeah, <laughs> I can't make Dexter Jetster happen with the current CGI technology available. So <laughs> I'm gonna wait about twenty years. Okay. Once I can finally make Dexter Jetster, then I'll be back to making Star Wars movies, but the technology isn't there yet. God. Okay. Oh, shit. I gotta use... Yep. And you know, it was worth the wait seeing Dexter Jetster. It was worth the wait. 
Oh wait, now I gotta do this. There we go. I always forget how you're supposed to take these guys out. Whoa! I don't think so, pal. I'm gonna save you for last, dude. Oh wait, okay. Oh. Okay, I guess not saved for last, but whatever. All right, sweet. All right. Oh, wait, okay, I gotta get the door for someone real quick. I think it's probably fucking goulash. I'll be right back. Just a moment. We're... Alright, I'm back. Goulash got my case of Fresca. I got another case waiting for me. Hell yeah. Okay. Alright, where is that? There we go. Alright, let me enjoy this Fresca right here. Alright, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, wait. Where did I put the controller? Okay, there it is. I put it on the charger. Okay, well. Ricky asks, Say, Doc, what do you think of Marvel's recent show, Echo? It seems Marvel's mature Netflix-level shows are returning. Oh, wait, let me get a better look at this question. Okay, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, but it, it seems uh, Marvel's mature Netflix-level shows are returning, at least from trailers. I haven't seen episodes. I think it's kind of cool that they're making a TVMA show for... Disney Plus, I suppose. At least before they, you know, fold Disney Plus into Hulu, which seems to be their plan. I guess they don't really care too much about the branding anymore, because they're like, this is all going to be one thing soon, so, uh... <laughs> Only way past this door is via his voice. Man, another one of these audio puzzles. Oh, boy. I've got so much money even but, you know, admittedly, I watched... You know, I watched... Some of the Netflix Marvel shows, I, I watched the first two seasons of Daredevil. I really enjoyed those. I think I watched a little bit of the third season, but I don't think I finished it. And I watched the Defenders crossover they made. I think I watched a little bit of some of the other shows, but I'm ultimately not that much of a Marvel guy, so... I was... I was... Ultimately just not able to, like, keep up with those, uh... All those things. Wow, I did it one try. Hell yeah. Voice calibration complete. Nowadays, Batman could easily deep fake these voices. Simon Stag. Technology's there. All right. Just broken this guy's entire security system, though. Yeah, within within seconds. Got his fingerprints. Got his voice. I should deal with them first before I look for him. Xavier Carrillo says, I thought Hulu was folding into Disney+. Plus. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. I, have, I know they're, like, gonna be consolidating, essentially. Because now Disney essentially owns these two streaming services. And, uh, ideally you kind of want all your shit in one place just to increase the value. And then you can, like, of course... When you have all your shit in one place, you can also increase the subscription price. I don't currently have any streaming subscriptions myself, thankfully. I'm very... I think the last one I had was I got Disney Plus again last month. 
Oh, shit. Okay, I guess they're a little bit more aware of me than I thought. Um, yeah, all right. Probably need to keep that in mind. I think maybe I should maybe restart this room. But, uh, oh, well, whatever. We'll see how it goes. But, yeah, I got Disney Plus again just to watch the uh, Ahsoka show. I didn't watch it. I'll wait for, like, a whole show to come out now before I uh, commit to a streaming a streaming platform now like you know I I'll just binge the whole thing later I really enjoyed Andor I thought Ahsoka was fine it was okay it was fine I did you know I watched Clone Wars and I watched Rebels and it it felt like you really had to have a lot of you had to like you know they don't even have like I, I'm sure like there's YouTube recaps and stuff but it would have been nice if they had more of an actual recap about what happened in those shows because their continuity is going to get very complicated it already kind of is they need to start like considering that a little bit more <laughs> it's like i gotta watch all these cartoons now i gotta watch the star wars holiday special oh man this sucks <laughs> oh shit okay I think the, uh, at least one of the little helicopter drones is dead. Okay, so yeah, there's still one left. Okay. And I need to take out these medical guys, these doctor guys, because they can, uh, bring their homies back from unconsciousness. Way Cool Dude says, also saying Ahsoka was fine sounds sexual. I mean... Should go without saying, it's fucking Rosario Dawson. I'm like, yeah, of course Ahsoka's fine. Fine as hell. Oh, yeah. Give me a guys. Okay, I need to... I almost forgot I have this voice synthesizer. I kind of... I kind of like the fact that Batman just sort of synthesizes uh, Arkham Knight's voice, like, just kind of off-screen, like... It's like, yeah, I can also, uh, I also super easily synthesize Arkham Knight's voice. Alright, um, let's have you go, like, over there. Yeah. Do I want to waste the multi-takedown on these guys? Yeah, sure, it's a medical guy, and I don't want to bring in that guy back up. So I got two medical guys. I think that's all the medical guys, too. So yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it in the end. Sue Blanton says, I want a sequel to the two Ewok movies, The Caravan of Courage and The Battle for Endor. You know, they made the Wicked... No, not the Wicked show. They made the, um... They made the Willow show. Yeah, the Willow show, not the Wicked show. So I can imagine them making a Wicked show next. Ooh, I got a Creative Cloud subscription. Awesome. And I something I should mention is... Uh... They're upping the subscription price of Creative Cloud, which is, you know, how you can legally get uh, Photoshop and all those other apps. You have to get them all within a subscription, and the normal price is like 50 bucks or something. At least it was. But now it's... Well, I, I, I'm i using somebody's student discount for it, so it used to be 20 bucks but next month they're gonna up this the student subscription to creative cloud to 30 bucks it's just insane like like this is like what a student is expected to pay for these apps like wow and you can't choose what apps you want to be subscribed to like the only apps i use in creative cloud are character animator and photoshop but i can't just subscribe to those apps or just buy them completely like i have to get all the apps like, it's just bullshit. I hate Adobe. Just an awful company. But they've just made it so hard to even, like, pirate their apps now. Like, anytime I try to pirate their apps, like, they always, like, eventually fuck me over. They always eventually are like, hey, I can tell I'm pirated. You can't use me anymore. And like, ah, so I had to start paying for it. But yeah, they're just making the idea of even paying for like, there's a reason why people pirate things. It's just like, these corporations are so fucking greedy about this shit. Like, damn. 
Maybe they'd have less people trying to pirate their shit if they actually made it affordable. Like, wouldn't that be crazy? Oh, well. Ghost Ranger says, This stream should have 100,000 viewers. Doc is pure entertainment. You know, I, I think, I think, I, you know, I... YouTube's just, like, lying to you guys. There's a thousand more of you guys. They just don't want to admit, admit to it. Oh, I gotta get out of there. Okay, well, that time the drone took a little while. He saw me, but he was like, you know, I don't necessarily want to kill this guy. I want to think about it. Oh, you... Man, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot I could shut down the drones. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Problem with these streams is... Soldier controlling drone. Oh, wait. Okay. I guess the drone just got knocked out itself. All right. Hey, pal. Whoa. You just did like a little flip there. Awesome. Fingerprints on file. I can pick up his trail at the container and track him down. Carlos asks, what do you think about the Scream 7, Melissa Barrera, and Jenna Ortega situation? You know, it... It seemed like with Jenna Ortega, she was just like, yeah, I'm not interested in, like, you know, I'm becoming, like, an actual star now. Um, and you guys aren't paying me, and, uh, the role I'm playing is not necessary, so I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm done with these movies, unless you're willing to, like, actually pay me. Um, see, I can understand her leaving. You know, the Melissa Barrera situation is unfortunate because it's just a matter of, you know, a, just a divisive opinion that some people are on board with, some people aren't. But, uh, I don't think she should have been fired for just having an opinion on this that situation. Like, that's just, I don't know, that's just stupid. Like, just having an opinion gets you fired is just, you know, it's dumb. It's not great. But, uh... Okay, Stag. Seem like they're just aren't really... They aren't really all that attached to even making more Scream movies if they're willing to, like, tank the next one over that. They made some fucking easy money on Scream 5 and 6, and then they're like, all right, well, let's uh, start from scratch. Like, I believe the screenwriter, the current screenwriter who guy who, who not directed of course he didn't who wrote the who wrote the uh zodiac not the zodiac who wrote just zodiac the zodiac was a totally different guy um you know they're uh, they were told to just start from scratch with the screenplay so i'm guessing just totally new characters so i guess good luck with that um so they're gonna have a lot of fun figuring that out. I'm sure, to hide from them. a lot of people are gonna show up for Scream Seven now. You know, I don't know. Like the guy who's supposed to direct Scream Seven, the guy who directed Freaky and the Happy Death Day movies. He either got fired himself or just quit. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Apparently, they are still making Scream Seven. It's just. <laughs> It's just not going to be the same movie that they were planning to make. Or that they were even building up to. I don't really know what they can really do with it now, you know? Come here. Please, don't hurt me. Tell me how to stop the cloudburst. Or so help me. I will hold you responsible for each and every person Scarecrow has killed. It's surrounded by a nimbus field. It helps spread the toxin, amplify the effects. Man, this guy's haircut perplexes me. Will be fried. It's so cartoony. I borrow one. No, of course not. By all means. New Way Media Production says, I thought he quit after pretty much all the new cast dropped out. I don't know if everybody dropped out. That's the weird thing is I didn't really see any of the cast members, like, showing any support. It seemed like, you know, Jenna Ortega was seemingly showing support, but no, she was just like, I, they're not paying me, so this is a good opportunity to, like, get out of this. Because I'm sure they were like, maybe they were even hoping, all right, we'll make Jenna Ortega the new protagonist, but now she's just like, nah, they're not actually going to pay me for these things. They're making a lot of money. 
doing a lot of promotion. Giving me a way to take on the cloudburst tank. You know, it's just not worth it. I'm heading back to the Batmobile. It's like time I could be spending on a movie where I have a juicier role and I'm making a lot more money, you know? It's ultimately what it comes down to. Because it's like, I couldn't tell you what Jenna Ortega's character does in the screen movie. Like, what she, like, in the first one, she's just kind of, like, in a bed, coughing a lot. Like, it, you know, it's just not interesting at all. Like, she's got, like, asthma or something. In the next movie... She's, like, around. She's, like, around. I don't know. She's coughing a bit. I don't know. It's, like, who would want to keep showing up for that? I'm like, come on. <laughs> I guess it's, like, an easy paycheck, but, you know. Oh, yeah, this is some lore dump stuff about the cloudburst thing I'm supposed to track down. Yeah, okay. At least I think it is. Well, let me look at my, uh... Objectives! Destroy the Arkham Knight's cloudburst tank! Use the Nimbus power cell to repair the Batmobile! Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, well, there's a there's some turrets over here, so that's a decent, um... Hmm... Okay, can I use Simon Stag? Open. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I remember. Oh, I totally forgot about this gimmick. They do not remind you about this gimmick. <laughs> it's like Legend of Zelda ass gimmick. All right, there we go. Okay, here we go. Actually, is this where I'm supposed to go? All right, remote hacking device, there we go. Yeah, what am I supposed to be doing over here? Am I just supposed to be leaving? Wait, am I just leaving? I could have sworn there's like another thing. No, yeah, no, there's, that's it, okay. All right, we're done with the blimp, awesome. Fuck yeah. Hate this blimp. Oh no, I'm back on the blimp, no! Uh. Oh, that was a close one. I hate the blimp levels. Oh, God. Greetings, Six Squad! Another atheist says, Doc, have you heard that Disney has announced a Mandalorian movie? I haven't heard about a movie. I guess that would explain why, you know, there hasn't been any, any, uh... Talk about a fourth season. I watched, actually, also... I watched the third season of Mandalorian, finally, and Ahsoka. And, man, that third Mandalorian sequel was just... <laughs> Fucking just shitty. Oh, boy. But I think it's... Doesn't help that, um... It seemed like they set up a story for the third season where... Will Grogu return to Din Djarin as Din Djarin's, um, protege? But then they were like, no, wait, we don't really want to explore that in season three, so... Let's just have Grogu return to Din right away in the Book of Boba Fett show and make... The Book of Boba Fett show just, like, just another Mandalorian season. Barely spent any time with Boba Fett in the middle of his own show. Just, it's so stupid. Like, God, I, f it's like they were doing so well for a while, and then they're like, let's stop caring. <laughs> like, really early on, let's stop caring about this shit. Let's stop caring. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank goodness the Andor show is really good. Oh, boy. God. All right, I gotta get to this very specific spot. Oh wait, no, not this specific spot. No, it's. Oh wait, no, it's this spot up here. Yes. No turning back now, bats. It's time to face your fears. Oh boy, this is a fun part of the game. This is a fun part of the game. Master Bruce, I hope you're not planning what I think you're planning. It would be reckless and irresponsible, even by your standards. It's the only option, Alfred. Sir, even if the gas doesn't immediately... Actually, let me check out his eyes. Let me see how green they are. Are they green or are they blue at this point? Uh, no. It's, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, I think they're just blue. I think they only turn green when they when he gets really jokerified. I have no choice. 
All right, this is uh, one of those really tedious sections of the game. I always dread, but I gotta do it. You know, I gotta do it. Oh well, I guess there's also this section. All right, I gotta slowly take the power cell out. Come on. Get out of there. Gotta be very careful. Alright. There we go. Oh, wait. No. Batman, behind you! Ah. Oh. Joker fight him. Okay. Alright, I can do this. All right, get in there, Batman. Come on. Yeah, just stick it in. Nice and slow. All right. Don't want to put it all in at once. <laughs> it's a big fella. Want to take your time. Take your time, Bats. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Hey man, get in your car! Come on! I don't know why he wouldn't, like, get some kind of gas mask attachment for his suit in this situation. You don't have to fucking point it out, I know. You know, it actually doesn't sound too bad. All right, get out of my fucking face now. Let's go. All righty. Better. Thank goodness. That's a relief indeed. You should know, sir, that the levels of fear toxin in the atmosphere are interfering with the Batmobile scanners. You may struggle to track the cloudburst. Ivy, I can't track. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Clear out as much as you can. I can't, Batman. My plans. Where am I going? Then tell me where to find another. There's a tree buried. Oh, okay. I gotta, I gotta upgrade the Batmobile first and foremost. That's important. Okay, let's see here. I should have did more side stuff, because you cannot really do side stuff once this cloud burst is uh, going down. Um, let's see. Emergency weapon energy, energy absorption. If let's see, increase the amount of Batmobile secondary weapon energy gained for each enemy destroy. Ah. Uh, I guess I'll go with that. All right, that's something. Island. Probably should have upgraded the fucking armor, though. I'll find it. This was still the era where, you know, nowadays any game with like some kind of skill upgrade shit you can do. Anytime you see that nowadays in games, you can usually, you know, reset your skills and just reassign the skill points. For like maybe some kind of penalty or just totally for free but yeah in this game you, you know you make a choice with your skills at least i'm pretty sure you can't like undo them at all no yeah you can't undo any of this shit so you're stuck with whatever uh, choices you make brings consequences but maybe you end up uh building your batman and batmobile not in an optimal way N not optimal not in an optimal way all right let's see all right. But you're stuck with it. Or you could start the game over. Because I know the first time I was playing this game, I was not assigning skill points to this Batmobile. I did not realize it would be... You're close. So fucking hard. Oh, wait, I think my armor is fully maxed out, though, at least. So there's that. Anthony F. says, Arkham Origins does not want to install for me. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It could be your operating system or something. I mean, I guess it depends on where you're 
getting it from, because I don't really have any issues installing stuff from Steam. But, uh, I don't know, if you're getting it so from somewhere else, I can imagine maybe... Too deep. I need to head underground. Maybe there might be issues there. Honestly, how... How do you even, like, recover from this kind of shit? Like, who would even want to, like, save this city at this point? Like, just be like, all right, Scarecrow, you win. Yeah, there's no coming back from this. You, you know, um... I've reached the container yard I, I could see I defeat. Access. Of course, Sam. I must warn you, scans reveal there's a considerable number of the malicious tanks inside. Not for long. Oh, uh -huh, Batman's got a plan. Sir, Let's okay. blow this out. No. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, I want to hack you. Come on, man. You're on my side now. Okay, helicopter guys taking care of... The helicopter guys, they seem like they're not that big of a deal, but they can be, like, the trickiest guys if you don't take them out right away. They can whittle a lot of, uh, a lot of your health away. Oh, and then there's these stationary turrets that are just... You gotta really focus on them. They have those homing missiles that do a ton of damage. Oh, wait. I could... No, let's not do that. Alright. Oh, shit. So you have to, like... You really gotta... You know, you gotta definitely balance out your focus on all these different kinds of tanks. Spend a little time on the uh, high priority ones, but then also make sure you're avoiding the littler ones. That's key. Oh, oh shit, I always get like, okay, maybe I could just get this one extra hit in. Nope. Shit. Where'd you go? Okay. Okay, gonna sniper this motherfucker. All right, sweet. Okay. to find a way to reach the center of the container yard. Oh no. Yeah, my controller bugging out again. Okay, let's fix that. All right, let's disconnect it, reconnect it. Yeah, my computer has some serious issues with uh Bluetooth sometimes. All right. Come on, Xbox controller. Turn back on. That's what I'm talking about. I don't turn many things on, but I can at least turn on an Xbox controller. Okay. All right. Let's see. Yeah, where's that little ramp? That convenient ramp. Let's see. Let's ramp things up. Where did that ramp go? I saw a ramp. All right. There it is. There's the ramp. Here we go. Whee! Yeah! Oh, fuck! Okay, that's not good. Okay, hack this guy. Come on. All right. Oh, I got two guys. Good. Got two homies. Er, shit. Okay. All right. Er. All right. We're good. Oh, fuck. All right. Okay. Shut up, Arkham Knight. Okay, um, let's hack another one of these guys. There we go. The hacking, the tank hacking, really reminds me of how you can uh, use, I think, Devil's Kiss. I think that's what it's called in Bioshock Infinite. That one, that one, um, what did they call it? They weren't called... That one Vigor? Yeah, they were called them Vigors in Bioshock Infinite, where you can, like, possess. Oh, wait, no, it was called Possession. Devil's Kiss was the, uh, the devil. Like, the fire Vigor, yeah. Okay, so it was called Possession in, um, Bioshock Infinite. And when you possess a guy, 
initially you can only possess like machines but you can uh, upgrade it to possess humans and they'll like fight on your side and when they get depossessed out of remorse for helping you they'll kill themselves like it's so fucking funny like once the battle's over this like soldier will take his gun out and blow his fucking head off like god <laughs> god they need i they need to make another bioshock game already damn I'm hoping this year we at least get. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this year we at least finally get. Um, what's that? Uh, from the creator of Bioshock, uh, Judas. I hope we finally get Judas. I'm looking forward to Judas. Hopefully, it doesn't end up betraying me like Judas. Whoop. I never do these right. Ah, oh, man, that is not graceful. All right, well, luckily the fear toxin cannot get down here. Thank goodness. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, yeah, let's see it. Uh, do, 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 do. I think I'm doing the right thing. I guess I'll find out. Yeah, this feels, you know, this feels familiar. Uh, Con Conetheus asks, are you looking forward to horror movies coming out in 2024? I was asked that, but, um, you know, there's nothing really that I'm, I don't know, that I can think of that I'm, like, really, like, excited for, but, uh, hoping, I, you know, I get some pleasant surprises where I'm like, oh, that, that was a good movie. Just nothing that I'm really necessarily hyped for. So the previous drone will be back online. All right, uh, so key thing is keep this guy hacked, then wait for that guy to pass by, and then, uh, hack that guy. All right, uh, at least, um, here. Okay, we're good. All right, sweet. How much farther am I gonna have to go? Ugh. All right. Uh. Now, if you only you guys put a turret inside that room, then you'd be fine. Then you'd be safe. Oh well. Oh shit. Michael Diaz says, Doc, in the new 52, the Phantom Stranger was Judas. Huh, okay. Um, interesting. <laughs> the definitive version of the Phantom Stranger. Did they, like, ever reveal in the DC Universe is, like, Jesus, like, the first ever metahuman? <laughs> Ah, oh, man. Alright, let's see. Okay. Sue B asks, Did you like Hereditary and Midsommar? I liked Midsommar a lot. Um, I feel like I need to rewatch Hereditary, but... I wasn't so into it, but... Maybe I need to give it a rewatch. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that Midsommar set me up for how weird... Shining on the cloud. I might, no, I, maybe Hereditary set me up for how weird something like Midsommar could be. So maybe I just need to go back to... <laughs> Hereditary, give it another try. Alright. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Another ramp puzzle. Uh they were like, we made the ramp physics, so we need to fucking use them. Xavier C. says, wouldn't Vandal Savage be the first metahuman since he's a caveman? Yeah, that is true. So yeah, he would be the first ever metahuman. If you don't know who Vandal Savage is, 
He's a guy with a really stupid name, but he's like an immortal man who's a caveman, and he's just lived forever and has become, you know, super smart, everything. Infiltrate societies. He's just like the original bad guy, essentially. Justice League, the animated series, had some pretty interesting Vandal Savage stories. They had one story where it seems like it seems like Superman dies, but it ends up turning out that Superman is sent into the future, and only Vandal Savage is the last man remaining on Earth, and Superman has to team up with Vandal Savage. Vandal Savage apparently is the guy who caused the Earth to get destroyed in the first place and killed the Justice League, so Superman has to go back and stop that from happening. It was pretty neat. They had some, like, really big stories on Justice League. Just every story just felt like a huge, like, really important story. You don't really see that in animation or anything like that in general anymore. It's like, this is our most important story yet. Shut the fuck up, Joker. Shut the fuck up. Alright. Got this under control, Joker. Alright. Let's uh, head back to the old... Aw, oh, man. I was hoping I could crash through this window. Nope. Alright. Okay. Not as cool. But whatever. Get in, Batman. Wah. Fuck, I blew something up. Oh, yeah, but it's still like a puzzle. Oh, yeah, it's... Oh, so, yeah, I probably should... I, I really shouldn't have... Uh, I should have used it remotely. Oh, shit, no! It's not even really a puzzle. Ugh. You just basically make the ramp go down, then you lock it in place... And then, uh, you can go up it. Okay, alright. Get out. I was like, you better not go down the ramp. Ugh. Alright, uh, lock the ramp. Sweet. Alright, now let's just do it remotely. The cool thing is he'll just get into it. Like he won't get, cr he won't let it crash into him and kill him. That's awesome. All right. Hell yeah! Yo, man, he just fucking fucking flies in that thing. Damn. I'm just destroying, just destroying this subway. You know the funny thing is the. <laughs> Apparently the the subway that Jared went to when he was like losing all that weight and also like jacking off the weird part like that subway still exists So you can still go to the Jared subway Apparently, it's like a subway that's under that was underneath The apartment he lived in so like his whole story of like I walked to subway I went on walks and went to subway like he just had a he just lived above a subway like <laughs> It's just insane Man. All right. I wonder if that subway got turned into a landmark. And then they're like, all right, um, let's just forget about all that. <laughs> the Jared subway. All right, where am I? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm trapped. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's how I get out of here. I almost forgot. I can make her grow, Batman, but you need to wake her up. Oh, I'm sure you can make some things grow, Poison Ivy. I believe you there. All right, um... Hey, let's see. Is it here? You're there, Batman. All right, sweet. The 
Souls must be stronger to free her. All right, here we go. Fight. Sonar blast. Here it comes. Hell yeah. She's not dead. Just for not Man, I am surprised this chapel has not collapsed yet. Wow. This chapel is holding strong. Just so much classic architecture just destroyed carelessly by Batman and his villains. Alright, this section really sucks. Um, let's see. Can I uh, upgrade my guy anymore? Nope. Can't do anything. Okay, good. Alright, time for a tree escort mission. Fun. Alright. Alright, let's try to take out as much of these guys as possible and stay out of their way. At least I, I really hope this is not an actual escort mission. I don't remember if it was necessarily an escort mission where I need to make sure the tree doesn't get hurt. I don't think it's that, though. I think it's just... Just a gauntlet. If it was also an escort mission, it would double suck. But they... All right, okay. The key thing is I gotta stay in the middle of this area where I am a gigantic target. Shut the fuck up, Poison Ivy! Ah. It sucks because you have to be in the middle of this really hot area where it's just like... All their fire power is concentrated. It really sucks. I hate that part, but you you have to stay there because poison ivy will sometimes help you. <laughs> oh shit! Ah, oh, damn it! Oh fuck! Okay, okay. God, I hate this shit. This is such a pain in the ass. It would have been nice if, at, at the very least, there were some guys down in that sewer that you had to fight, but no. Poison Ivy, shut up. I don't care about your tree. <laughs> I do not care about your tree, Poison Ivy. Nobody cares about Poison Ivy's tree. I don't think anyone has ever cared about a tree this much. Ah. My tree! My beautiful tree! Oh, shit. They're dropping these... Thanks so quickly. Oh, sweet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, wait. All right. I think we're good. We're reaching the end of this section. It's not that hard, but I do remember the first times I played through this game. I was like, this is just... Just a pain in the ass. I don't like this. All right. Get back to the Harley Quinn ass physics. This is what you were good at, <laughs> Rocksteady. You were pioneers of ass physics. Give us more of that. All right. Uh. No. Stop him. Uh. I'm just gonna hack you. Bye. All right, so now there's just one guy left. Good. Bye, bro. I'm just gonna shoot you with the missiles. Oh, wait, not the missiles. The Gatling cannon. Okay, that was not doing anything. All right. <laughs> All right, well. Eh, that went okay. I was expecting it to be much worse. Oh man, if only Poison Ivy had like a a bush you had to protect, that would have been great. <laughs> oh boy, I have to protect Ivy's bush. Just hang on. All right, now this is where things are gonna get real. He's not getting off This is where shit is about to get real. This is um one of the biggest pains in the asses of anything in this game. 
he's trapped in here with me. All right, no, 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 oh, wait. I'm already like in not a good spot. Okay, so I'm gonna grab another fresca. So I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be right back, gonna grab that fresca. I wanna make sure I'm ready for this. Cause this is gonna be a little tricky, but if I can do this part, the rest of this game, it's gonna be cake. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. All right, I'm back. Got the fresca. Let's do this. Okay. All right. Time for the cloudburst battle. Now, essentially, this is a stealth section. Oh, wait. Let me get a better look at you guys. I keep forgetting about that. All right. There we go. Essentially, this is a stealth section involving tanks, which I've been doing okay so far, but this is a boss battle version of that concept. There's one big tank called the Cloudburst. It's the thing that's basically responsible for all of the, uh... All the Scarecrow toxin in the air right now. And I have to take that tank out. That tank has a health bar, though. And it has a pretty big health bar. So it's gonna take a lot of shots for me to do that. I need to sneak up on it. He's got a lot of extra homies that'll help him. And you might think, oh, I, I should just pick off all the, uh... All the tanks first but no he has an infinite number of tanks they will replenish so it's kind of pointless there's no need to fight all these extra tanks unless there's absolutely no other option um it's a little tedious it's not fun it's not like a fun batman game kind of thing you know it's not great i'll take out one of these guys and hopefully the cloudburst will uh get a little closer to me oh wait shit cloudburst is like right there but the thing is, is that once you hit the Cloudburst, he's going to be chasing you for a while, shooting you with just a nonstop volley of missiles and shit for a little while. And that's also not fun. Um, it's not great. You know, none of this is good. Oh, yeah, and I think first I need to scan the Cloudburst for its weaknesses, too. Oh, God, that's... I think. Let me. What is? Let me try to remember. No, it's just destroy the Arkham Knight's cloud. Oh yeah. Wait. Do I just hit it in general, or let me see here. Let me get a little closer to you. All right. It's not giving me the home in bullshit. Yeah. No. Okay. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to necessarily do. Ah. Uh, shit. All right, well, he's coming down here with me. Okay. I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to do. Like, I'm not triggering the thing I'm supposed to trigger. I need to... <sighs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Batman oh, shit. Out of here. Bye. God, I hate these sections. I might need to, like, Google what I'm supposed to do here. Because <laughs> I do not remember. Yeah, none of this is good. Oh, fuck. Yeah, 
All right, I might have to Google this shit. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Ghost Ranger says it's in the front dock, I believe, or on the side. All right, now let me see here. Okay, I think I just need to scan it in general, and eventually it'll pop up, like, what I'm supposed to do to it. Ugh. Oh, fuck. I love the fact that I can blow up a car, and they're just like, yeah, no, it's just happening. Man, I'm not doing shit. I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't want to be doing this. I'm getting super lucky, though. They're not getting any hits on me. Let me see. Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Fuck me. I hate this section. Oh, God. This sucks. Oh, and they kill you super quick. Okay, I'm just gonna Google it real quick. I don't remember. Ugh, I hate this shit. Alright. Alright, let me just Google this real quick. Okay. Alright, let's see. Oh, wait, okay. Oh, so I am supposed to take out all... Oh, shit. For whatever reason, I thought you're supposed to... I thought they were infinite. I guess maybe I have this confused with a different thing. But yeah, I do have to take out all the little guys first. Okay. Well, that's fun. All right, I'll just do that, I suppose. Uh, at least it's a uh, better strategy than what I've been doing this... Uh, starting things out. Okay, let's do this. Uh, totally forgot... Just jumping a little too far ahead. Alright, let's find some guys to shoot. They were like, yeah, this is this is what being Batman's all about. Sneaking around in a tank. That's what being the Dark Knight is all about. Oh my god. Oh, you sons of... This sucks. This is garbage. I don't know how anyone could play this and think, yeah, this is good. <laughs> this is like a good Batman game. This is fun. It's like you're put in, put, put into a tank, but you're still, you still feel weak. It's like awesome. It's like kick ass. I don't know how they could fuck this up. Okay, uh... But I don't know, this, it seems like they were very insistent on... The tank needs to essentially play the same as Batman does. Like, you have the... Brawls with the tanks, but you also have the stealth with the tanks. Where it's like, you know, it's, it's the same basic thing. But it really just does not make sense having tank stealth sections at all. I don't know how you could be stealthy with a tank. It's tank. Like, it's... Just, oh my god. It's like, and the, like, the drones can only look in one direction just to make the stealth work, because it doesn't make sense otherwise. It's like, why? <laughs> Alright, that time around he was like, I'm not gonna bother. Alright, there's the cloud burst again. Alright, well at least not, now I know what I'm doing. Now I know what I'm doing. Just making it happen. That's the tricky part, because I also have that fucking cloudburst wandering around. I'm hoping at the very least, once I get to the cloudburst by itself, I get a checkpoint. I don't remember if that's the case. <laughs> it would really suck if I have to do all this over again if I fuck up. I think I get a checkpoint, at least. At the very least, they give you this little uh, sewer area you can hide in. All right. Angel A says Gotham City officials watching CCTV of the Batmobile destroying millions in public property. It'll be worth it in the end, though. Because then, then the city will be rid of Scarecrow. It'll also be rid of all of its buildings, too. 
But, uh, you know. They can rebuild all that stuff, you know. <laughs> I imagine after all of the events in this game story, there's gotta be, like, just a gigantic, massive Wayne Tech lawsuit. <laughs> God. You're telling me this guy was Batman the whole time, just blowing up buildings and shit? Oh, God. He's gotta pay up. Batman's like, okay, I gotta have, like, a, uh... I can't be Bruce Wayne anymore. Yeah, just, I do not want to face all these lawsuits. <laughs> We've lost one. Programming Cobra to respond. What do you think you're doing? Finishing a job. This is not the plan we agreed upon. It's a plan that works. CC Trout says, Fave Batsuit, Wolfula, mine is the 89 Batsuit. Um, I like the return suit better. It's just basically a... A slightly cooler version of the 89 suit. They made the, uh... The logo in the middle look more like... How it should look. Because for whatever reason they couldn't use... For rights reasons or whatever, they could not use the regular logo. So they kind of have that... A slightly altered logo for the 89 movie. And also I like the Art Deco armor that he wears. It looks more like armor. It doesn't look like, um... Like, with the 89 suit, it looks a little too much like molded rubber, which it is, but at the very least with returns, they were like, let's make it look a little bit more like armor. That's the weak point. A rupture will set off a chain reaction, destroy the cloudburst, and could take out the tank as well. I'm reconfiguring your scanner to locate the vehicle's coolant lines. Good luck, sir. All right. Okay, so I got it all mixed up. There's not an infinite number of henchmen tanks... There's a finite number, thankfully. So, now I'm just down to the cloudburst. I got it all mixed up. Remembered it completely wrong, but then again... I don't really like to think about this section of the game. I played through this section of the game a few times. But, uh... It's not one of my favorites, so I'm not like... Oh man, remember the cloudburst? Oh! Remember the cloudburst? That was great! God damn it. Totally fucked it up. Totally fucked up my hiding spot. <laughs> All right. I had to hit that fucking mine thing. I just had to hit that. Ugh. That's what they're for, though. Oh, shit, what? Man, the radar is so misleading about where that cloudburst is. avoid being spotted. I'm too far away from the scanner to be effective. I need to get oh, yeah, I gotta scan him. Ah, fuck. I, need to get closer to I know, Batman, I know, but I'm just trying to figure out where the hell he is in relation to me. All right. The coolant lines run close to the surface of the tank. Er I should be able to rupture them with a shell from the 60 mil cannon. But one strike won't be enough, and I can't stay near that gun. Attack and fall back is my only option. So, essentially... Gotta hit him a little bit, and then run away. Alright. That's the basics, but he's gotta... Oh, shit! Damn! He's got a certain amount of time where he'll keep chasing you. You gotta... Oh, shit. He's really uh, very persistent. I should have boosted my boost, honestly. My boost meter. Because that really comes in handy here. There is another strategy you can take on him where you could theoretically just get really close to him and just keep hitting him with the uh, Gatling gun, but, um, you know, it could be a little iffy. <laughs> it's not the recommended way to take him, take him down. Uh, fuck out of here. Okay, I gotta be, like, very... Very conservative with my boost meter, because he's very good at keeping up. Oh, fuck. Don't want to waste too much of my meter. All right. Uh, okay, there we go. All right. Um, I feel like, yeah, okay, I'm doing it okay. He's a little... You know, he's not shooting me as much. So, key thing is just move around. Don't boost too much, because then he become a little easier to predict you're in one spot. 
All right, we're good now. Okay, good. All right, just two more hits. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, he's coming through here. All right, let's... Come on. I think after I'm done streaming Arkham Knight, I think I'm going to stream either Alan Wake 1 or just go straight to Alan Wake 2. I really enjoyed Alan Wake 2, and that's more of a horror game. Part of me is like, I got to start from the beginning, right? But at the same time, Alan Wake 2 is just so much better than the first game, though. It's just like, oh, man. <laughs> I beat that last month, Alan Wake 2, oh, man, that was, it's a good fucking game. That's my kind of horror game. Oh shit. The shitty thing is you can easily get cornered. You can end up like in a spot where you just can't really uh, maneuver your way out of getting shot. So you gotta make sure you're keeping an eye out where you're going because it can get really bad. It's just a matter of Making sure you're getting out of there and you're thinking ahead. Because he's pretty good at thinking ahead, like, uh... Whoa! Okay, that was a close one. Oh, man. All right. Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. Oh! Fuck! All right. Oh! Okay. Oh, no! 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 Oh, he's still... Oh, shit, what the... God... My computer, oh man, my computer has this weird thing where it'll randomly try to update my CPU. But it won't end up actually doing anything. Oh god, okay. Good thing it paused, though. Ugh. That would have sucked. Oh god. Alright. <laughs> Just one more hit. One more hit and we're good. Um, he's really out in the open. want to wait for him to stop looking in my direction, though. Golden Balls Pawnbroker, huh? Interesting name for a pawnbroker. I think for this one, I gotta get closer to his front. Come on. Oop. Come on, give me the... Ah, oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. I think I gotta meet him over here. Anticipate which way he's gonna go. Okay, he's going this way. All right, let's try following him through here. I'm surprised this is not making any noise. <laughs> hmm, there's lots of crashing noises coming from over there, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. Oh, shit. Okay, that was close. As Lando Calrissian once said, that was too close. So, yeah, you gotta get a little... A little more like... Yeah, yeah, you gotta get, like, right here up in the front. Oh, shit, but I forgot there's, like, now we're in phase two, where you're just firing at him now. Which, honestly, is kind of easy, because you just, you just, you know, you just have to make sure you're just hitting him. And, uh, you know, blowing up his missiles before they can reach you. Not too hard, but it's... After all that, it's still annoying. Like, oh man, I gotta go through this now? Ugh, God. Oh, shit. But luckily, I think there was a checkpoint there, so I... If I do fuck up on this part... It's not too bad. Oh my God. It's tense. I gotta hand it to him. Oh my god. Come on. Just blow up already, Cloudburst. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Okay. Alright. Just a little bit more left. Okay, there we go. Alright, man. Ugh. The only real boss battle in the actual campaign. Taken care of. Of course it's a tank battle. Oh boy. I still saved him. Because I'm the goddamn Batman. 
Plus, I really need to know who he is. Who could he be? Oh, this is some real gratitude, dude. Alright, I am punching the fuck out of this guy. Ah, uh, anybody, anytime somebody turns into the Joker, Batman just can't punch anymore. He just can't punch a guy anymore if he just transforms into the Joker randomly. <laughs> Happened with Mr. Freeze in Arkham City, he just was like, I, I just can't punch him anymore. There's just, I, I don't like watching the Joker get punched for some reason. Even if it's a pretend Joker. Did you subdue him? He's... He's gone. You, uh, don't sound entirely sure, sir. Ivy, I've destroyed the Cloudburst. Purify the remaining toxin. Ghost Ranger says they really messed up the 2022 suit in this game. Ivy. They got lazy with it. It felt like with some of the other movie suits, they changed up the proportions. But with this one, it feels like they just stretched the suit around the standard Arkham Knight Batman skin. So it just doesn't look quite right. Um, but also they made this skin just for the Switch version. And I guess they were like, well, people are going to complain if, you know, they can't get it on the PC. So I mean, we might as well add it there too. Um, <laughs> but, you know, Rocksteady is a shadow of its former self. The uh, original founders of Rocksteady, they no longer work for the company. Sefton Hill, who directed all these Arkham games, he left in the middle of production of the Suicide Squad game they're making, so that's a good sign that game's gonna be really great. It's gonna be awesome. But yeah, he's fucking checked out. I can understand. They, you know, they just don't give a fuck anymore. Like, they're just like, you know, whatever. <laughs> It's like Warner Brothers, like, really cared about video games for a little bit. And then they're like, you know, whatever. Like, fuck it. Like, it's whatever. <laughs> the shit doesn't matter. Like, none of this. They don't care about anything anymore. They don't care about movies. They don't care about video games. They don't care about TV. They don't care about any of this shit. <laughs> like, it, it all doesn't matter. Nobody knows what they're doing anymore. They, they think streaming is the future, but they don't also don't care about that anymore because it's not actually making money. It's like the future, but they can't figure out how to have it make money. Um, they keep asking for more and more money, but it never seems like it's enough. So it's just, you know, it's just fucked. Like, it's whatever. None of this... None of this is going to work out in the end, I guess, for Warner Brothers. They're going to keep getting bought by bigger corporations... And they're just not going to know how to make money out of that, any of this shit. Like, James Gunn's DC Universe, whether it's great or not, it's probably going to end up, like, getting fucking shut down. Like, in the middle of a story arc, too. Like, it's just not going to be finished. Like, they're not going to finish one story arc. They're gonna be like, okay, we need to start this over again. It's just going to, it's all going to suck, you know? It's, things just suck. Oh, wait! Poison Ivy, No! Not Poison Ivy! She was my favorite character! She doesn't get a single moment with Harley Quinn in this game. <laughs> but the funny thing is she comes back in the next game. She gets reborn as like a little kid. Which is a little weird. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So we see a little kid version of Poison Ivy in Suicide Squad game. Which, I don't know, they... I hope, I'm hoping they don't try to do some lesbian stuff between Harley Quinn and Poison, I Poison Ivy in that game, because it's really not going to work in that situation. Um, I guess we'll see what happens, though. Because <laughs> it's like, wouldn't she still have her adult memories, too? So it's like, I don't know, it's weird. I don't know. But I stopped the cloudburst, and you would think, well... You beat the game, right? Well, not really. Um, I still have to apprehend Scarecrow. And also, due to plot contrivance, Scarecrow toxin bullshit, uh, Joker meddling, uh, the Arkham Knight also escaped. So, gotta go find Arkham Knight, too. Oh, well. She's gone, Alfred. Clearing the toxin took everything she had. Oh, I see. Her final act was a noble one. Angel A says, Remember Poison Ivy's first look in, the, in Arkham Asylum? Of course I do. 
How could I forget? Oh, man. They definitely toned down the cheesecake pin-up girl aspects in this game. Um, fortunately or unfortunately. You know, Harley Quinn still has ass physics, though, so, you know. <laughs> Man, I can't imagine being in the middle of all this pollen and not constantly sneezing. Like, dear lord. At you! Alright. Somebody make a wish. Okay. Uh, I forgot. I need to pick my mission. GCPD to investigate the transmission sent on a SWAT channel from within the city. Way cool dude says. Which DC e Extended Universe movie has been the worst so far? Well, I haven't seen all of them, and I haven't seen a lot of the more recent ones. Let me think. Okay. Let me go through them all in order, and I'll say which ones I've seen and what I think of them. Man of Steel was the first one. And, you know, I liked it okay when it came out. But, uh... I did have issues with it where it did feel, like, way too dark and somber for a Superman movie, so it just wasn't ultimately... Something I could be into, but at the same time, like, there's this generation that wants that dark, gritty Superman who, like, you know, busts down buildings and, like, carelessly kills people. And it's like, it just adds to his grittiness. Where it's like, oh, man, I can't save anyone without killing... I can't save one person without killing hundreds of people. But I still have to save that person, even if it means hundreds... Die. Like, I don't know. I don't know. And, you know, they... And then there's Batman v Superman, and it's just... Just too bleak still. Just even more bleak. Like, in the, in the director's cut, Jimmy Olsen gets fucking executed. Uh, just, like, way too bleak. Like, just not for me. Um, and then there's the Suicide Squad movie, the initial one. Uh, just, I, I don't remember what happened. I saw it in theaters. It just wasn't... Didn't have, like, a big... I remember, like, there was, like, lots of montages, like, going through the origin stories of all the different members played to, like, fucking this movie's tie-in soundtrack. I don't remember, really. There was, like, some kind of Aztec god villain or whatever they had to fight. Wasn't so into that. Um, then after that, there was Wonder Woman. And I still have never seen Wonder Woman. I have not seen Wonder Woman 2 either. But I heard Wonder Woman was pretty good, but I still never saw it. Um, <laughs> then there was there was, uh, there was Justice League. I didn't see that initially, but then eventually I caught it later streaming. And yeah, well, that wasn't good. Either ver I wasn't really into the Zack Snyder version either. It was cool that he got to make his cut and fans got that version. But it was just like... You know, it's just, like, even longer. Uh, just, you know, not for me. Um, then there was uh, Shazam. I thought it was okay and fun. Didn't really need to be part of the DC Extended Universe. It could have just been its own thing. Which, I guess, for all intents and purposes, it basically is. They'll make a few little references, but it's essentially just its own thing. There's Aquaman. Uh, I remember it being kind of okay and fun. But, uh... Not super memorable. Um, uh, then there was... Uh, what else was there? Oh, yeah. I also saw Birds of Prey. Not super not super good, but I thought it was kind of fun. It was okay. It was decent fun. That was the last movie I saw before the theaters started shutting down and shit. Where, you know. It was kind of... It was kind of a... I don't know fun little Harley Quinn movie that they just did not advertise properly. Um, and there was also, uh, what else has there been? I didn't see Aquaman 2. I did see the Suicide Squad movie, the James Gunn one. I thought that was pretty fun, but at the same time, I just wasn't so into how far, how deep into comedy it went, where it's just like, like, it's just, just had a it felt like you know it felt like you know the r-rated version of james gunn's scooby-doo shit or it's just like this is just i you know you can have like i don't know it's one of those things where they just hell have a hard time figuring out what the tone of these things should be where it's like 
generally these movies should be serious, but they'll have some comic relief, you know. Um, like a Christopher Nolan movie will be like as serious as they get. Then they'll have some comic relief there. It won't like overwhelm the movie. Uh, and it won't be like, oh man, this is just nothing but bleakness. It'll just be like, okay, there's some levity here. Like, you know, it just feels like they never have a good time like figuring out what the tone should be. It's always like, oh no, wait, it's too dark. No, wait, it's not dark enough. Like where it's like, no, you could just, um, I don't know, handle it with a, handle it by a case by case basis. But then there's also Flash 20, Flash last year, which I did see. And I, you know, I enjoyed it for like the fan service aspects. But, you know, it was not a great Flash story. It was not a great Flash movie. And it was also rife with controversy, too. You know. Just, you know, it, the DCEU just never really found its footing, unfortunately. Just never figured out what it was trying to accomplish, what it needed to be. It really needed to be... It really needed to set up its... Needed to spend more time setting up its Batman and Superman before they meet each other. But there was just this sense where we need to catch up. We're way behind. We need to catch up with our competition, which is understandable, but, you know, uh, it's just like, man, because they ended up making, like, a ton of movies anyway, but just didn't feel like they were going anywhere. There's no storyline. There's just, uh, you know, uh, oh, well. Gotham ain't going down yet, Batman, thanks to you. I guess we'll see how things pan out going forward. Let me see here. What? Okay, all right. Yeah, this is the main mission thing. This is not Mad Hatter. I was like, oh no, am I gonna end up talking to Mad Hatter? I wish I could, sir, but it's on a SWAT channel, encrypted. Those boys really don't like anyone listening in. I'm in. Hey, are you reading me? It's Jim. I need you to send through some blueprints. Like, honestly, none of the DCEU movies are anything I'd, like, go back to, unfortunately. Um, but then again, I could say the same thing about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, just because I'm not really into Marvel. Like, you know, late 2021, I bought the box sets of all the, all four of the, well, the first, well, okay, not first four, the first three phases, they split the box set of phase three into like two separate box sets though. It was kind of like four phases, but not really. But I got the three phases on Blu-ray, super cheap. And I was like, okay, I'll finally, cause I had never watched a lot of the Marvel movies. So I was like, I'll binge through all of this, go through them all, you know, and not in one sitting, but like just, you know, spend a few weeks going through all these movies and like, see what it's like, you know, from the beginning, following the storyline. And, you know, it, I, I definitely appreciated it a little bit more as far as how they were building the world out and stuff, but, you know, not really into Marvel, though, so it's just like, you know. I need to collect the remote electrical charge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Before I leave. Gotta grab that remote electrical charge from the evidence lockup. I don't know why he would give this as evidence. It just feels like such an arbitrary... Well, your gadget's at the GCPD lockup. Um, yeah. Uh, you, this is why you don't have this right away. Um. <laughs> Gavin Elrod says, Then there was the Dark Universe. Yes. The fabled Dark Universe, which got a lot of movies. <laughs> yeah, there was like, you know, this sense of, well, cinematic universes are going to be a thing, but no, not really. <laughs> you can't just make a cinematic universe from nothing i can understand like i guess the reasoning because the universal monsters were essentially the original cinematic universe kind of um sort of i mean they weren't like approaching it from that way but they technically were they were like movies that cross over with each other where it's like oh wait i ain't stopping him universal's frankenstein monster could meet wolfman that kind of thing where it's like okay um so yeah, it's technically a cinematic universe, but I'm sure they weren't thinking about it like that, and there wasn't necessarily great consistency there, where you could argue that it's like, yeah, this feels like a universe, but I can understand, like, okay, let's take that and do a modern version of it, and just make them more like superhero secret agents, like the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, 
but with monsters. Okay, all right. They just never got to that, though. No. They just were like, well, the first one didn't do okay, and they had Tom Cruise in it, so... You know, fuck it, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna tr tr not gonna try, uh, I'm not gonna give it another shot. It should have been more like, well, let's focus on making one good movie, and then we can uh, make another good movie, and hey, we can make a... Whoa, isn't that crazy? We can make a crossover between these two good movies. You know, that isn't, wouldn't that be a crazy idea? But oh well, you know, it's like just thinking way too far ahead. Like with Man of Steel, it shouldn't have been like, all right, now let's build the cinematic universe. It should have been like, well, let's make another good Superman movie, make a Batman movie to complement it. And all right, we, I've, we've established those two versions of the characters. Now they can meet. All right, sweet. Now people have like an attachment. They've spent enough time with our Batman and Superman, now they can uh, meet each other. All right. Way Cool Dude says, I think the only cinematic universe since the MCU was the MonsterVerse. Well, there's MonsterVerse, there's MCU. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, there's technically, you know, any movie franchise is technically a cinematic universe. I guess the proper term for it should be shared universe, where you have separate franchises that share the same universe. So, you know, technically Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street became a shared universe. Um, so there's that. Um, they didn't really do much with the shared universe outside of one movie and some comics, but, you know, that's a shared universe. Um, then there's, you know... The problem with shared universes, especially if you're trying to do superhero stuff, is it's hard to, um, it's really hard to, I don't know, it's, it's hard for these shared universes, like, especially comic book ones, to really share theater space, because it's, like, very different for, you know, it's very different with, like, a comic book shared universe, where... Yeah, there's plenty of shelf space for all these co different comic books. Like, there's plenty of space on the shelf for all the comic books out there. You have plenty of Batman, you can have plenty of Spider-Man, you can have all these different shelves. Lots of space. But with a movie theater, there's only so many theaters inside a fucking Cineplex, you know? And there's only so many types of movies people are willing to see around the same time, like... Especially with people getting fatigued with superhero movies too, which is a huge obstacle with relaunching the new DC universe, is people just don't really care about superhero movies anymore. Like, they don't care about it that much, especially since it doesn't seem like, you know, it, with Marvel, it doesn't seem like they're setting up anything that's really all that um, compelling. Because it's like, once you've got, you know, Infinity War and Endgame, it's like, this is pretty much the pinnacle. Like, you... You did everything you could. You had all these characters meet. It's like... People aren't going to get excited about... Now Shang-Chi is going to team up with Bruce Banner. Like, it's not as exciting to people, unfortunately. You know, it's just like... So they're, like, really dragging their feet making another Avengers movie, trying to, like, figure out, okay, how do we get people excited about a new Avengers movie where we're spending this amount of money, as an insane amount of money... And, uh... There's too many armed militia. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta open up the door. Open up the door for me, homie. And use the Batmobile to take them down. So they're like, okay, um... So it's like, we don't even know where they're going with these new Marvel movies. It's just, you know... Apparently, eventually, there'll be, like, another Avengers movie and things will happen again. I don't know. And then there's, you know, Zachary says, Don't forget Sony's non-Spider-Man movie universe. Yeah, they have the, uh, Sinister Six... Spider-Man universe there range of the they've been control. trying to launch and you know I've I know I haven't seen Morbius never saw it not gonna see Craven not gonna see Madam Web um I did see the first Venom eventually I saw the first Venom like last year five years after it came out <laughs> so you know there's that you know I'm not interested in these villains kind of existing by themselves, but uh, if Sony thinks it's a good idea, you know, all right, fine. I know there's, like, some fans that are, like, holding out hope they'll eventually re reveal 
that, oh, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man or whatever will be the Spider-Man of this Sinister Six universe or whatever, but I don't know. I can't imagine Sony doing anything that would actually excite people outside of the Spider-Verse animated movies. And I did really like the, you know, the two Spider-Verse movies are really great. Um, but uh, I wish they could, uh, I don't know, figure out some of their other uh, Spider-Man related movies out too, but whatever. You know, it's one of those things where Sony just has that property that's just super valuable by itself. Just Spider-Man by himself is just so valuable. But it's like, who cares about Craven by himself, though? Like, who really cares about that? Like, what? I almost forgot how to <laughs> how to switch to the Batmobile. It's pressing the wrong button the whole time. Angel A says, new Hasbro universe with Transformers. I mean, maybe people are willing to, you know, give the cinematic universe thing a, another shot without superheroes. Who knows? If it's any consolation, I'm sure Crane's put old Jimbo out of his misery by now. Let me think. I think the only superhero movies I watched last year... Yeah, okay, so the only two superhero movies I watched last year were... Guardians of the Galaxy 3, which is, you know, kind of a superhero movie, just in the sense that it takes place in a superhero universe, but... It's more like, you know... You know, just a sci-fi adventure kind of movie, but, you know, I guess it's, you know, they call it a superhero. They're kind of like a space superhero team, so whatever. And there's also... Oh, no! <laughs> Imagine if Batman actually died like that. Wow. <laughs> and then I also saw Flash. Man. Bleak year for superhero. It's been a bleak several years for superhero movies, though, so, you know... <laughs> I am looking forward to the Batman 2, though. Hoping that's good. All right. But the great thing about last year is I just ended up saying... Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to do this. I ended up seeing a lot more... Transport the Batmobile's weight. Just, like, a lot more of, like, just, you know... Because I feel like in previous years, I'd watch a lot of superhero movies in theaters. This year, I was just like, let's watch, like, a lot of the better movies. Like... The actual good movies. So I, I got to watch Oppenheimer. That was cool. There was uh, Flowers of the... That was the new Scorsese movies. Flowers of the... Uh, Val what's, what's, what's something Flowers of the Moon. Fla <laughs> I forgot the title. Not a great title, but that was good. There's a lot of cool movies that came out last year. Like actual cinema. Now how do I get through here? How do I do that again? I know I gotta, like... No, I don't want to do that, though, because then I'll blow up. Let me see. How do I... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Okay, so I gotta... Oh, yeah. Killers of the Flower Moon. Yeah, yeah. Killers of the Flower Moon. Yeah. Flowers of the Killer Moon. <laughs> All right, um... Oh, yeah, I gotta shut down that one, too. Okay. At least I think I gotta shut down that one. Let me see. Oh, yeah, and I just gotta blow that thing up. This is like an extra Riddler thing. Blowing up those little robots that don't do anything. Okay, so it's not that. Um... I know I gotta shut down that fan. Where do I gotta go to do that, though? God, I, this is the biggest example of just... Stretching the Batmobile, like, like just to an insane degree, where it's like, I have to take it inside this department store with me. It's like, I decided to ha oh yeah, I gotta blow that thing up. Okay, alright. Oh wait, nope! Get back in there. Nope. Yeah, there we go, alright. Alright, gotta blow that thing up. I guess Batman's psychic. He knows I definitely need to have the Batmobile here. There's gonna be some shit I cannot do without the Batmobile. That was ahead of time. Alright. 
I'm sure if he could figure out how to do it, he would have brought the Batmobile with him on onto those blimps. Okay. Oh, wait. Er, there we go. This is fun. I like this part, though. Oh, wait. Get it. Try to hit it at just the right time. There we go. All right. What do you, what smart uh, what smart ass remark do you have to say, Joker? To once they've taken a battery. I would know. Oh wait. Of course, since you never bested me. But do you think Arkham Knights hanging out in some tacky dive bar right now, splashing glasses of cheap whiskey all over that mask face? So you think if I don't know, if Batman has all of Joker's memories, he could find out who Joker is or whatever, but you know, whatever, fine. All right. Let's get back in the, uh... No, wait! No, wait! Get back in there! Oh. Always... Oh, All right, there we go. Angel A says, Batmobile or Bat Tank at this point? This is something I'm not so into with modern versions of the Batmobile in recent years is... It really has just become a tank. It's just like... This big ass tank makes tons of noise, you know. Eh. Oh, did he? Oh man, I wish they landed inside that fucking fan. That would be so cool. Technically, the fan killed them, not me. I don't know. If I yeah, I feel like Batman can make those kind of, um, you know, like say that in his mind. Like, you know, technically, I'm not killing them. Like. The explosion I caused killed them, but I didn't kill them directly, you know? It's not... Alright. There's like a thing in here. Okay, up here, let's see. Alright. Go downstairs. Yeah, I wish the Batmobile could go back to being a little bit more of a subtle thing. Like, not, um the tank it usually ends up being these days. It's just a little, uh, a little played out at this point. I want to go back to, like, just a sleek, cool car. Oh, wait, is that back where I came from? Well, at the very least, I can blow that thing up. Yeah, that's back where... Okay, all right. All right, I need to find a spot to go in, because I need to get beneath... I need to get beneath this thing. Let's see. Uh, let's. Where is that? Oh wait. Okay. Maybe I gotta make it go up. Let's make it go up be above me. All right. Okay. Maybe not. All right. Let's. Yeah. I gotta go down there. Oh wait. Okay. Wait. Does this work? Oh, wait, no! Get down there! No, get... No power. That won't work. Oh, wait, okay, so... Can I give it power? Oh, wait, here... Oh, I... I just had to make it go down further. Ah, oh. I was like, okay, there's gotta be a trick to this. No, you just gotta... Hit it twice. I was like, there's gotta be some extra trick there. Eddie Views asks, which villain you think had too much in the game, even as an Arkham game? Um. Well, I guess in this game, or I guess maybe the Arkham games in general. Uh. Let me think. I mean, the thing about this game is they kind of relegate a lot of the other villains to just being side characters. They make a little cameo appearance in the main campaign just to set up their, you know, side missions. So you kind of run into Two-Face and Penguin a little bit in the campaign, but otherwise they don't really have a say in the story. And their separate stories aren't really all that interesting. Uh, I feel like Arkham Knight is ultimately, uh, you know, the big issue with this game is, like, he's really the main antagonist, but he, you know, it's just... Yeah, you know, I'm not so into Arkham Knight, because he's basically, you know, getting ahead of myself here, but he's basically Red Hood, but they wanted to 
have some kind of twist still. So they're like, no, he's Arkham Knight. You know, he's, you know. Ow. Wait, what the? Oh, so the water doesn't? Okay, all right. Well, that sucks. <laughs> well, I just electrocuted them to death at least, but I would have thought the electric charge directly in the water would still shock them, but I guess not. I guess, you know, gameplay mechanic trumps, you know, actual uh, logic. Oh, well. Oh, more elevator bullshit. Awesome, okay. Wait. Oh, wait. Can I get it from here? I should be able to get it from here. Eddie View says, any game as in design. So, I guess any Batman game, um... I don't know. Um, I feel like, I don't know, in the inverse of that, I do feel like we didn't get enough Deathstroke in these games, and his utilization was not great. It would have been nice to have more Deathstroke in the games, but fuck. He just wasn't used all that much, unfortunately. Um... Would have liked more Deathstroke. Because his one boss battle is really cool in Arkham Origins. But then he just disappears because they were planning to make a... Uh, a Suicide Squad game with him. But then it just didn't end up happening. He's not even in... As far as I know, he's not even in the new Suicide Squad game too. Which is kind of a bummer. The elevator will go. Okay, so... Way past the obstruction blocking the shaft. I gotta... Ooh, I gotta get past the shaft. Okay. There we go. All right. Now this is what I'm thinking about. Here we go. Ooh, now this is a fun room. Looks like they're having a party. Their leader is wearing an explosive vest. Need to neutralize him first. Magteeth Matt asks, Goulash barely reviewed Wednesday. Will he ever do an in-depth review? Um, that ended up being kind of a joke where it's just like, there was, there was a, you know, there was a start, like there was, you know, there was an attempt to get started on a Wednesday video, but then I, we realized, well, not really all that interested in Wednesday, you know. It's not really for for us. It's for like a, you know, a certain demographic. So it's just like it wasn't really my ki kind of Adams family sort of thing. So I was just like, well, let's just, I don't know, you know, let's just go back to reviewing a Scooby Doo thing. Um, <laughs> but maybe I don't know. I don't. There was one guy who was like really asking for that Wednesday video too and I was like well you got it I guess in the form of just saying it's okay you know Goulash just saying yeah it's okay <laughs> it's fine but it's not for me I don't <laughs> cause I you know started I started watching some episodes of Wednesday but I was like you know this is a good show but it's like you know not really for me it's like you know for teenage girls like I just I can't really get all that invested in it I don't know it's like a goth version of Harry Potter it's just like this isn't really my kind of thing <laughs> just like I don't know it's one of those things where it's just try to avoid like just forcing a video when there really isn't much of a video there where it's just like yeah this is not where it's like Cause it'd be like one thing if it was like this is for me but i wasn't into it or this is uh for me and i really liked it it's just like i don't know it just ends up feeling a little forced when it's just like i'm not really into this thing like all that much but i making a video about it for some reason spending like a lot of time on it you know it just never works out all that well Now, if it had, 
the rest of the Adams family. I know it has the rest of the Adams family in it, but if it was just an Adams family show in general, probably would have been more into it. But the specific premise is it's just Wednesday. You know, I'm all I'm just not all that interested in Wednesday by yourself, but a lot of people are. So you know, it's it's great for them. They got the Wednesday show. <laughs> Gordon's just beyond that wall. I'm going to need the Batmobile to destroy it and reach him. If I can lower the car on top of that drilling machine, I might be able to move it down to this level. Man, Batman's such a quick thinker. He's looking at this thing thinking, you know, I bet I could get that thing down if I just use my car, you know? Always thinking ahead, Batman. Need my Batmobile. Okay. Okay, I can't use it yet, though. Let's see. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The answer's awaiting, Batman, as am I. Let's see. Okay, good. All right, time to shut this turret down. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I, the next thing planned for the Gulag channel is gonna be the Rob Zombie Monsters movie, so keep an eye out for that. Maybe, after that, um, you might see a Wednesday <laughs> review. I don't want it to just be Scooby-Doo stuff That's on the, the Gulag channel. Now to get the there's gonna be Scooby-Doo stuff room. on it, but I need to make sure there's, like, some variety. Ghost Ranger says, you should stream the Telltale Batman games. Oh, shit, I forgot that. Ah, damn it. Okay. Nice try. Looks like I forgot I need the Batmobile, but yes. um. But yes, Ghost Ranger, I'm planning to stream the Telltale Batman games after I'm done streaming these games at some point. Gotta have some more Batman. All right. Always need to have me a good amount of Batman. Okay, let's try this way. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. New Way Media Production says, Doc, for a short four-hour one-off game stream, I gotta recommend Killer Frequency. You're a radio DJ. Am I going up? Oh, man. I'm like, okay, I'll read this. Okay, now I'm going down now. Okay, good. But yeah, you're a radio DJ in the 80s that has to take over as 911 operator. Like the coolest point and click modern game. You're 911 operator and is it's all dialogue choices on if they live or die. The voice acting is pretty great in my opinion. Oh, I'm fucking this up. That does sound pretty cool. I have to look that up. I'm guessing it's on Steam. Oh, wait, okay. I gotta go further away from the center. I'm like, okay, this is a good opportunity to read comments and not pay attention to the game. All right. Okay, we're just about there. Okay. Well, no, wait, yeah, okay. I want to be a little higher up. I want to... Because I need to be able to get the Batmobile through there. Okay. All right. Uh, that should do it. Okay. Good enough. And I'll just leave without Batman, because this is a Batmobile game after all, but not really. I still need Batman at the end of the day. Wait, where is Batman? Oh, there he is. Okay. Can I get it from here? Please tell me I can get it from here. I gotta get it down lower. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, uh, it should be... Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. One thing I have been planning to do for... I feel like a couple years now that I still haven't done. I made a thumbnail for it and everything, too. I wanted to bring back the Twitch channel and just play random games, and I wanted really wanted to play the Knights of the Old Republic games on my Twitch. I still haven't gotten around to relaunching the Twitch. Ugh. 
Also wanted to do bring back the die in theater through Twitch. It's just hasn't haven't made the time to fucking do that shit. I need to. It's just there's always another video project that comes up and just distracts me from setting up these little these smaller things that would still be fun to do. Okay. Let's see. As far down as the drill will go. I gotta get on the other side. Alright. Caesar P asks, what are your thoughts on Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League so far? Well, the first, I mean, I've always been kind of iffy on it, but the first gameplay they showed of it looked really bad. It looked like some kind of Fortnite bullshit. But then they released another gameplay, bit of gameplay thing with the open world aspect of the game. And it looked kind of fun, but I'm just not so iffy so sure about it especially since it's a games as, as a service type of game it's a game that's all about just you know making money off of you through dlc i suppose um Dig up any schematics you can find. i was hoping for another great rocksteady single player game something that like you know expands from the uh combat system scene in you know in these games but now it's gonna be like more of a shooter thing like, even Captain Boomerang uses a, a gun in the new Suicide Squad game, where everybody just uses guns and they all have their own little unique special abilities, I suppose. But yeah, this is another fun section of the game. Another stealth tank section. Um, it's kind of like the Bane boss battle at the end of Arkham Origins. But a little... a little more annoying. It's kind of an intimidating boss battle. But... As long as you're, you know, playing your cards right, should do okay. I think there's a checkpoint for every time you do damage to them, at least, so there's that, too. Um, but yeah, essentially, you have to avoid getting crushed by this giant tank, drill tank thing that Arkham Knight, for some reason, has. I don't know where he got this thing from. I don't know why he needed, like, why he anticipated needing this specific thing. I don't know what it's used for, but for whatever reason, he also has set up these bombs that blow him up. I don't know what... <laughs> it's just... It's... I don't know. It's so stupid, but whatever. <laughs> then I have to fight him. Sir, the Batmobile's armor and weaponry are no match for that vehicle. But I am. I'll find a way. New Way Media says, I would love to see you play the old Blair Witch games on Twitch. Oh, that, that would be fun. I've been wanting to, like, cover, I don't know, the older Blair Witch games in some form on the channel. But essentially, you just gotta lure the Arkham Knight into these tunnels, these carefully marked tunnels, and he'll follow you down the tunnels, and you just gotta make sure you're not, uh, you don't fuck it up. Alright, he'll follow me into this tunnel. And then it's just a matter of running away from him and not getting crushed by him. Because he catches up with me, it's instant death for me. So, you know, it's a little tricky. It took me a while before I finally got what this uh, battle is even supposed to be. I was just, I don't know, I don't know. I don't do so well with these kind of situations. I always get a little too intimidated, but it's not really that big of a deal. It's pretty simple. We had a plan. He is going to suffer. He is going to die. All right, just gotta wait for him to get in the sight. Am I really gonna die down here, forgotten in the dirt, Arkham Knight? Are you so sure about that? All right. Yeah, it's really just kind of a sad boss battle, honestly. It's just waiting around. Getting his attention. And then he follows me down here. It's like, whatever. Just a matter of, like, surviving the obstacle course along the way. Urgh. At least I've done this before, because if I was going into this blind, it would be so sad watching me try to accomplish this. Oh, God. <laughs> Just be like, yeah, it's whatever. 
so much more like honestly i had it's ironic i had so much more of a hard time with this section compared to the cloudburst section but it's really so much more easy but the fact that he kills you on hit just makes it seem like it's even harder but it really isn't yeah once you figure it out it's so fucking easy You're gonna be forgotten in the dirt, motherfucker. It's so crazy that this game is M-rated, but they never drop an F-bomb at any point. Just get walking here, Arkham Knight call you a motherfucker. That would be great. They never do it, though. Hey, you see me? I just triggered my smart assistant. Oh, God. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to talk to you. Er oh, here we go. Okay. All right. All right. This is like the last kind of annoying part in the game with the... God damn it! Okay. All right. <laughs> so stupid. All right. Okay. All right. Um, hopefully I don't have to do that from the very beginning now. Um, let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I don't have to do it from the very beginning. All right, awesome. God, that sucked. <laughs> I was like, okay, we're just about done. Fanblade got me, though. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Um, Where'd he go? Come on, let's do this again. Let's try it. We'll try it one more time. Where'd you go? Come on, already. Let's do- just do this. They make it seem like you have to, like, wander around in these tunnels, like, evading him, but no, it's just you wait here, get his attention, and then you go down the tunnel. That's it. That's all it is. That's all it is. But it's like, you might get unlucky, though, like I did. I was like, oh, man, I'm gonna make it. Nope. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. All right, we're good. All right, okay, okay cleared that one. Let's just clear one more. All right, now we're good. Okay, sweet. Oh, yeah. All right, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Gotta get out of here. Now, this part, it's kind of sad because... I'd always, like, not realize what I'm supposed to do on this part. Even on multiple playthroughs, I always forget what you're supposed to do here. <laughs> it makes total sense, but of course I don't think about it. Magteeth Matt says, I was today years old when I found out that Arkham Knight is rated M. What the fuck? Yeah, it's rated M because it's got just, it's more of an intense atmosphere with a lot more, a lot more violence. Like, people point guns at their own heads and blow their heads off, stuff like that. So when you have, like, material like that, you're gonna end up with an M rating. Also, like, Joker's torture scenes with Jason Todd, pretty damn intense for a T-rated game. Like, you could say, um, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City kind of pushed their T ratings as far as they can go. Made sense why this one ended up M rated. But all right, so... That's basically the last really annoying section of this game taken care of. Oh, I like that little rainbow with the oil. Oh, man, that's really pretty. Oh, wow. Makes me want to eat some Skittles. But yeah, that's the Arkham Knight taken care of, at least for a while. Um, and that's honestly the last... I guess there's a sort of annoying section after this a little later. But, uh... How annoying it is, is... Thanks for the... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we're actually not out of the woods yet. Oh, shit. Think he's trying to be funny? Oh, yeah, I guess I forgot, like... Things don't, like, really slow down at all at any point. At this point in the game? Oh, damn. <laughs> I was like, okay, we're not gonna... Now we're gonna have a little time... To, like, uh... Catch our breath. Nope. Nope, not really. Yep. 
Man, these guys are a lot faster with their blades. Ah, oh, fuck you, dude. It's so iffy trying to dodge those damn samurai blades. Son of a bitch! Alright, got him that time. You think you can beat him? That's not how it works. I like uh, Mr. Gordon just kind of hyping me up. Appreciate that. You know, I might have got his daughter killed, but he at least uh, he's always got my back. Get me out of here, Batman. We need to get Scarecrow. I like you just where you are, Gordon. Jimmy boy, Jimbo. Now I can have my way. Okay, all right. <laughs> who are you? I wonder who this guy's gonna be. I have no idea. What? 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 Who's this guy? What? He's got like a J on his face. J oh, Jason. Fall out here, what? Told you Jason Todd's the Riddler. Red Hood. I mean, the Arkham Knight. Whoa! It's so funny, they ended up, like, spoiling this because they released a DLC, a Jason Todd Red Hood DLC. And the Red Hood suit looks just like the fucking Arkham Knight suit. Which is, you know, they set it up in this part of the story. Like, I damage the Arkham Knight's helmet and it turns red. And it's just like, okay, well. I don't know. I did, uh, I did end up having this spoiled to me from a YouTube thumbnail, um, unfortunately. Always gotta watch out for those YouTube thumbnails. Just in my, like, recommended feed, just saw... Oh, yeah, there's Jason Todd. Oh, great. He's the... He's the Arkham Knight. I mean, I saw it coming, but it still sucked, like... Because I part of me was, like, hoping, okay, they're not gonna just make... Jason Todd the Arkham Knight because they promised that the Arkham Knight was a new character. But no, they're like, okay, they caught us. Arkham Knight is Jason Todd, but um we tro we we all we can really do in this situation is lie to them. <laughs> um we were hoping it wouldn't be as obvious as it is, but it is. I need to All right. <laughs> surprise. House Home says, holy shit, I love Skyrim. I'm so glad you're playing it. Yeah, I haven't been using my shouts, though. I really need to start using my shouts more in this game. They come in handy. All right. So this is a fun section. There's no helping me. Basically, Jason Todd finds these vantage points that uh, you have to sneak up on him at. And you have to do that like three or four times. Um, and there's like goons. I know the goons in this room, I believe, are infinite, but uh, I might be wrong. I don't know. But you can like rush through these sections or take your time, but uh, it's whatever. I don't know. I hate this fucking part of the game. Yeah, Jason will spot me. Batman won't do certain things. He'll have a certain level of self-control. He's like, I'm not doing that. All right, um... Oh, wait, they can see me? Oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, I hate this shit. I feel like, I don't know, I don't have it in me to, like, keep doing this. I, I've already been streaming for four hours now. But it feels like a really bad place to stop. But, you know, I'll, uh, you gotta run and scare. Jason will see me coming. I need to Gordon, shut up. You're gonna to take him down. blow my, blow my whole, Jason okay, there we go. Well, they got distracted at least, <laughs> shooting at me. <laughs> I 
All right. Um, where'd he go next? Oh, wait. I think I do have to clear out this whole room. Oh, I forgot they have the scanner thing that can tell them my location. So I gotta clear out this room first before I can move on. Let's see if I can do it. All right, okay. Now they're not scanning for me, at least. Got any more smart-ass quips you need to say, Gordon? Oh, you're quiet now. All right, well, at least it's a little easier. I did this on the, uh... I did this on New Game Plus, and it was just such a fucking pain in the ass. God. So much easier. Angel A says, You think after losing, Jason, the state wouldn't allow Bruce to have another ward like Tim Drake? Um, yeah, I don't know what happened there. It's like, what... <laughs> It's like, did Batman ever say, you know, I don't know, I guess you could, you know, it's not necessarily, well, yeah, that is always a little weird. It's like, I never quite knew how Bruce explained away Jason Todd being dead, like, <laughs> it was like, um, I don't know, he, t I went to, I went to Iraq, I went to the Middle East, um, and, you know, Jason got killed there, I guess. I, I don't know how else to explain it, guys, but, um... Jason's taking a sniping position. I need to get close. Take him by... Ugh, I hate this shit, because I want to be able to just, like... Sneak up right... Right away, but I... It just won't let me do that. And then it introduces these henchmen that are invisible. Essentially, they're not technically invisible, but they're invisible to detective mode. So... They can sneak up on me a little more easily. Yeah, yeah. I need to get directly. Shut the fuck up! At, you're basically Batman saying you can't do anything. Like, I'm sorry. I guess I could have thrown a batarang, but it's like, force of habit is just telling me to use my <laughs> grapple. But it's like, no, you can't use your grapple. I hate this shit. Okay, I need to use the um, smoke pellet. Been totally forgetting about my other abilities. <laughs> All right. All right. No, come on. Make it fast. Come on. Don't have all day. All right. Need to remember to use my other gadgets. Can I? Okay, I can't use that on those guys. Oh, but I can. Get your act together. Remember your training, or you'll end up like the rest of these guys. I can. At least take out their guns. Oh, and I can also use the, um... The Predator takedown. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mul Fear multi-takedown. Uh. Oh, my God. I hate this shit. This arbitrary, I can't go over there shit. Ah, uh, Okay. Way cool dude says, been a fun stream, but I'm gonna head out. Trying to better my sleep cycle. Good night, everybody. I gotta try to better my sleep cycle, too. But at the same time, I need to beat the Arkham Knight. It's all been leading up to this. I won't rest until the Arkham Knight is vanquished. All right. Oh, wait. Let's, uh... Where'd that little robot guy go? There he is. No, bam, it just dropped down, dude. There we go. Alright, um, it's hard to really tell what the situation in this room is, but... I'm just gonna make my way over and hope for the best. Almost there, almost there. There we go. Alright. You know, this is a cool Red Hood look, though. Not so into... How they handle the story, but Red Hood looks really cool. And it's cool how they like, you know, 
set up the Red Hood as like just a damaged version of the Arkham Knight costume. So that's cool. All right, okay, um, how am I going to get over there? Let's see, um, well, I guess we'll start by hacking, I suppose. All right, so there's those, there's that flying turret guy, I guess, oh wait, oh, so I can, uh, get down there from below. All right, let's hack um, that dude again. Oh! Oh no! Oh, this is not gonna work. Okay, no! Oh shit! Fucking ah! Oh. Okay, all right. Still got a lot of lead in my ass, but uh, I beat the Red Hood. And what a boss fight it turns out to be. I can't bear to punch my own son. I just can't do it. I've been punching him all night, but I just can't punch him anymore. This to me. I'm sorry. You left me to rot in that abandoned wing of Arkham for over a year. With him, it's not too late. We can fix this. I found Jason. Excuse me, sir. I, I must have misheard you. For a moment, I thought you said that you'd found Master Todd. You heard right. My God, is your right? kind of last name is Todd? <laughs> Man, that's such a Todd move. <laughs> Fucking Todd, always bailing. It's hard to see the uh, Arkham Knight helmet next to this guy. Uh, thanks for pointing it out, Joker. Now let's free Gordon. Have a guy with a gun on our side. Scarecrow's there. What happened? I went out to Crane and got caught. Jim, I'm sorry about Barbara. Eddie says, you know, they never mentioned Robin after the Batman vs. Superman callback. Yeah, um, they set it up. They have, like, apparently it's, you know, the Dick Grayson Robin is the one who's killed. Which, I don't, all right, fine. So there's no Nightwing in the, uh, DC Extended Universe. Um, there's no Jimmy Olsen. There's no Nightwing. There's nothing fun. You know, they couldn't have anything fun happen. Oh, shit. Fuck me. All right, I gotta do the beat down. Oh, fuck. I was like, is that guy gonna hit me? Nope. He chickened out last second. Eat floor, jackass. Oh, I don't think so, pal. Ow. Oh, ruined my combo. Damn it. Oh, well. Man, Commissioner Gordon was such a help during that fight. I've been worse. Thanks for all the help, dude. Really appreciate it. All right. Jim, I just want to say... Hatchet Boy says, rest in peace, Kevin Conroy. Yes, rest in peace, Kevin. An honor. Don't. Even if but we get to experience just a little more Kevin Conroy Batman and the Suicide Squad kill the Justice League. Great way to send send him off. Um, I hope, at least. Witness statement from an eight-year-old boy who just seen his parents gunned down. You were kind, Jim. 
Well, Gordon figured out Batman's secret identity all by himself. Sorry, you don't need to. It's amazing. We're the same, Bruce. We do anything for our family. All right. Well, let's see what's going on here. I'm sure there's not going to be like a twist or anything here. Come on. I gotta get crazy with the twists. On your knees, Crane. Now. So you did it. I must. Admit. New Wave Media Production says any film specific Billy Zane film you'd like me to get signed for you, Doc? Or show? I'm talking to you. Uh. Are you talking about, like, any movie with Billy Zane in it that you need to see? Because you gotta check out The Phantom. You gotta check that out. It's all about Billy Zane. How much of a fucking badass he is. Even when he's wearing, like, a... You know, a purple hood and, uh... A purple leotard, you know? He's just the coolest guy imaginable. Did he hurt you? What are you doing? Call in the transport. We'll be Wait, Barbara's alive? No way. No way. The people of Gotham to see their savior. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Just a man devoid of hope. Betrayed by his friends. Crippled by fear. Let her go. You both still have a part to play. We had a deal. Once I understood your greatest fear, controlling you was simple. You blame yourself for her condition. The Hatchet Boy says Scarecrow looks badass in these games. He at least looks badass in this game. Um, looks a little goofy in Arkham Asylum, but uh, kind of fun. Shows a lot of midriff. Next time, aim for the head, Gordon. Did you think I was? Gordon was the true villain this whole time. That would save your daughter. Do you know what happens when a man refuses to be controlled by his fears? Oh, now he's gonna kill Barbara Gordon again. Ugh. Take me! Please, it's not her you want. Take me! This whole section is so confusing because it's like. Batman just imagined Barbara Gordon kills herself, but it's just like not brought up or anything. She's just alive, so it's like gotta have to put it together yourself. It's just ugh. Gordon never mentions. Yeah, wait, my daughter's still alive, dude. That's what I'm. That's why I'm here. <laughs> He knew what he was doing. Dad. He shot the pixelated part of my chest. Angel Ace says, Surprise, Scarecrow never tried to kill Croc. Yeah, they have like a Killer Croc DLC, but... Destroy. They never, um, they never have, like, Scarecrow go after him or anything. Because if you don't know, in Arkham Asylum, Killer Croc mauls, um, Killer Croc mauls Scarecrow, um, <laughs> which is why Scarecrow looks so much more fucked up in this game, but, uh, yeah, we never get the, any, any of that kind of closure. Alright, but, yeah, Batman can just... Pull an extra Batmobile out of his ass. Because he's Batman. Of course he's got multiple of these Batmobiles just lying around. Never know when, uh... <laughs> you might need an extra Batmobile on your side. Oh man, these guys are taking a lot of bullets. Now I want to... I don't have the... Damn it. 
Ah, oh, shit. There's a guy behind me. You need to stay within range of the remote control. Oh, shit. Fuck off with that, dude. Ah. Uh. Where are you? Ah, uh, no. Okay. Oh, shit. You quit blocking my path, dude. Ah, oh, damn it. I hate this shit. <laughs> it's really wearing me down. I don't usually play Arkham games for, like, four-hour sittings, so... This game is, um... Truly wearing me down after a while. Especially all this tank shit. But I'm like, I gotta get these out of the way so I can... Move on. But I need to find a good stopping off point. Hits. Over. Ah. Er. Hit. It won't take they were like, okay, it's been a little while since the last tank battle. Gotta fix that. Need another tank battle already. Alright, time to get you on my side, dude. All right, sweet. Okay. All right, that's handled. Oh, man, that's something I love about this game, is this is like, there's this area called Otisburg in Gotham, and if you don't know what Otisburg is, it's a reference to Superman 1978, where Lex Luthor, Lex Luthor's goon, whose name is Otis, when, like, Lex Luthor is, like, cutting up the map of California, when they, like, their new version of California that they'll now own, like, he's like, can I, uh, have this, uh, area called Otisburg? It's just a little small place. And, like, fucking Gene Hackman, Lex Luthor, is just like, Otisburg? Otisburg? What the f- <laughs> God. Oh, man. That's a good movie. All right. Oh, yeah, I gotta get in that specific spot. I love the fact that they made Otisburg a real thing. <laughs> can use him to get to me. Oh, how chivalrous. Remember the time you carried me like that? I don't, because I was dead. Hatchet Boy says, Doc, so far out of the Arkham game, games, what's your favorite? Mine's Arkham City or Arkham Origins. I gotta go with City. It just felt like... Oh, man, I could see Joker disappearing. His just model disappearing behind the Batmobile. But, um... Yeah, I gotta go with City. Because it just felt like... Just the ultimate game where you play as Batman. The ultimate Batman game. It doesn't have the Batmobile, but it just feels the most like you're Batman. In this game, it, I feel like they make Batman a little too over the top in, like, abilities and powers. And also, I'm just not into the Batmobile sections and the tank shit. I'm just not into any of that, too. So Arkham City just, like, it really felt like it really, um, struck the right balance of just, like, it's just, it's just a really great Batman game. Like, they took what was in Arkham Asylum and they just built off of it to an insane degree. Like, you can have your Batman fight so many more enemies at once. He's got all the gadgets you'd ever want. He gets to run into even more of the villains. You know, it's just great. You know, I just love it. This game, it's just, I don't know, it's just got a lot of stuff that's weighing it down. It also just doesn't use some of the villains all that well. Some, some of the ideas just aren't all that, all, explored very well. It's just got a clunky story. It doesn't have great boss battles. It's just over-relying on the tank. It just has aspects that's just, it makes it not so fun for me to play. I mean, for me to go back to, like, Arkham City. Yeah. work for you now? Hell, what am I saying? We all do, right? Bob Garland says, but Miss Tessmacher has her own little place. Yeah, she got her own spot on Lex Luthor's new uh, map of California, but... Okay. The great thing about Miss Tessmacher is, you know, she's fucking Lex Luthor. So she gets at least something. <laughs> Like, what's, like, honestly, what is, honestly, why was Lex Luthor, like, why did he have this bump, like, one goon, and he's just the most bumbling goon imaginable? It's like, he's like a super genius, but he's, like, cheaping out on goons. He needed a, he needed some better goons. I can understand if he had, like, one bumbling goon, 
and there was like a few other competent goons. But now it's like, man. These years later, and I've still got a soft spot for a little. Bit. Need to bring back Miss Tessmacher. You know, we need to bring back. Right <laughs> need to bring back Otis too. Miss those people. Miss him. Anyway, this is the end of tonight's Batman Arkham Night stream. Went on for a lot longer than I expected it to. I was expecting to like tap at it like two and a half hours, but no, went went to nearly four and a half. Not the longest these have gone on for, but. These can go on for pretty long. Now, before I go, and just so you guys know, in the next part, I will be finishing this game off, and I'll be playing some of the DLC, so keep an eye out for when that goes live. But in the meantime, just want to remind you guys that, uh, well, I just want to promote the Gulag Channel's latest video, the Mystery Begins Review. If you haven't seen that, click the link in the description to check it out. There'll be another video on the Gulag soon, so make sure to subscribe as well. Also, you know, this isn't really new merch, I need to update that, but there's also merch on my TeePublic store, tpublic.com slash user slash Dr. Wolfula, if you want to check that out. Also want to give special thanks to my shout-out tier supporters on Patreon. All their help is greatly appreciated and helps the channel continue to thrive and continue to grow and continue to just continue in general. After all these years, we're now in the, I believe, 14th year of Dr. Wolfula. It's thanks to these fine folks. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Also, just want to remind you guys, there's a movie night for my Patreon supporters and channel members of Slumber Party Massacre 2 and 3. Link in the description if you're interested. Also, gonna be coming out with my Halloween The Old Myers Place young adult novel review soon, but if you want to listen to the audiobook early, you know, link in the description to listen to that. It'll be available for free here on YouTube soon once the review is done, but if you want to listen to it early, you can. You just gotta support the channel. Anyway, I've been your host, Dr. Wolfula. Signing out. See you all next time. Bye-bye. Pleasant screams. Hope you enjoyed this live stream. Why don't you watch another thing while I have your attention?